Oasis versus Souza. Let's react with the MMA. Oh. Souza versus Kiaz Kiewitz. Kiaz Kiazias Kiewitz. How do you say his Canadian's name, Jesse? Is it K S? I think isn't that like Kiaz 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 What's going on, friends? Yes, got the Mosswalk back. Um, complete white supremacist look for tonight, and it's going to be wonderful, 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 wonderful. We're doing this live on a Tuesday night. Contender series rolling strong. I see Michael Bisping and the guy that hit under the desk. The, I don't remember that guy's name. He's their announcers. But where are your announcers here on the YouTubes? JBH, how are you feeling tonight? Wonderful, wonderful, Mas. Wonderful, Mario. wonderful. I am ready. I am ready for some carnage. We are spoiled. Saturday night was fantastical. And Tuesday night, the last Tuesday night contender series, there's four fights, but it was just complete carnage. We have seen so much carnage. I'm worried that we're going to get let down. We're spoiled, Jesse. Well, this is what happened in the, the first half of the season of the Contender Series. It started off a little fiery, and then it lulled for, like, the later half. So probably what's going to happen again this time around. So you, what are you thinking? You're thinking that, I nah, think we'll get carnage nah. tonight because it's the second week. Well, not, technically, the second week of the second half. So we'll get carnage tonight, and then I think it's going to start lulling. Lulling. Lull. Lull? We're going to hit a lull. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No more walloping finishes, Moss. All right. I got to fix this, by the way. It's What'd you do? Nuts. No, I don't know. It's it, it just, when we went live, it, it moved over. And you know how I am. I'm a stickler. So let's move that over a little bit. A stiffler. Okay. All right. Let's go to the Google Zoom and let's get the capture going here. It's good to see everyone in the chat. It's a five fight card. This lady's fight. We got buck 45ers. We're going to get some, let's see. Uh, no, I don't know, actually. Straw weights, Jesse. The straw weights, a 30-year-old, 26-year-old. And honestly, um, I was hoping that we'd get the buck 45ers. You know, let's fill up that weight class. What's up with the picture uh, the, the on the right? What's that about? What kind of... Oh, she likes it. She likes what, Jesse? What is uh, she... I don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what the hell's she going on She likes whatever's now. going on off camera. You got to love some of these topology pictures. That girl, Stephanie Frausto... Is a plus three thirty. Hmm. Okay. And then we got the heavy favorite across the way, Luana Pinero. That's the second fight on the card. The first fight on the card, Jesse. Are these two mm -hmm. young men, Danny Sabatello versus Taylor Moore. Eight one and zero versus ten four and zero. And wow, Sabatello a minus six fifty. Wowzers. Well, you can you can see who the the UFC wanted to win this one. Wowzers. Wow, 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 wee wah. Uh, Michigan versus Flo Rida. 27 years old, both guys. They're pretty identical. Height, 5'10", just a one-inch reach advantage. But this man is a huge favorite. What's this guy what's This guy about? Let's see. Sabatello. Hey, it's a me. It's a me, a Sabatello. Yo, you want to order a pizza pie from Sabatello's? American top team, so maybe that's why mm. he's a top teamer. A rear naked choke, the arm triangle, lost in 2019, got knocked the fuck out, and then rattled off a bunch of wins before that. Okay. All right, we're going to learn about these peoples. A uh, happy Conor McGregor day in the chat. Let's see how everyone's doing. Two joints is Uncle Matt Damon, bro. Uncle Mike H says Uncle Marker is super wonderful, wonderful. Chris Clark says, wonderful, what's up, wonderful. two joints? You're the man. Matt Stone gives a thumbs up to Chris Clark. CN says, Moss, tell it how it goes. I sure will. Tell I it how sure it goes, Moss. will. Tell it how it goes. Um, so Laura Sanko's eyebrows Jesse. are a little messed up tonight. Laura Sanko's eye. Oh yeah, why is the right her right or left is fatter than the other side? Oof. What's that about, Jesse? She's she We're made a boo boo. Up. No, her makeup artist made a boo boo. That's okay. Why she's painting them things on? Well, I I don't know if she's painting them on or not, but. You could just brush out your eyebrows and, and they can look weird if you don't brush it the right way. So, I don't know. I brushed my eyebrows on today. How they look? Look great. Little caterpillars up there. I flatten my eyebrows before every show. 
bet you didn't know that, Jesse. I flattened them. I flattened them on my face. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you really? I flatten them. I, I take the flat iron. <laughs> do you really? I could see yeah. you doing something like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, I flat iron. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do that with my ass hairs too. Oh god. All right. Okay. So the main event. Let's look at this main event that's happening tonight. I really don't know how to say this guy's name. Kia Kiaskiewicz. 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 Right. Kioskowitz versus Souza, undefeated from Canada. I don't think it's pronounced Kioskowitz because it's a KS, right? So isn't it like Chia? Like what? KS? Or Sia? Then maybe the K is silent. Siaskowitz. Si- yeah. That would make sense. Is it Siaskowitz? C Z. Alshowitz. C Z is a ch sound. Remember Blachowicz? So. Kioskowitz? Oh, yeah. Siaskowitz. Siaskowitz? C- oh, here we go. DRS says pronounced Shakovich. 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 Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, shit. That sounds about right. Because the, the yeah, the W here is a V sound. Shakovich. Shakovich. That's a lot easier to say. Marius Shakovich. At the Jew. Wonderful. Wonderful. Shakovich. Shakovich versus Souza. Okay, that's the um, that's the main event. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do what I did like in the early days of the MMA holes when when people would <laughs> when they would hire us as announcers, I would always hope that the person that won had the easier name. So when I went into the cage <laughs> and I'd be like, "Hey, congratulations, Shashwitch!" Like I I would always root for the guy with the easier name. Yeah. Like, Thank God, Sosa won. Do you think Bruce Buffer does that? I don't know, but I was so unprofessional. I would walk in, I would literally be sitting cage side rooting for the guy with the easier name. Yeah. Is that unprofessional? Um, no, I think you're just adapting to your environment, right? Adapting to your situation. Hmm. By the way, we reached out to a band called Psycho Stick. Hmm. Has anyone ever heard of Psycho Stick in the chat? I was listening to their Are Christmas album. Are you not supposed album. to tell them these things until after? Oh, they're probably not going to respond, but I figured I'd tell the people and then maybe they can get on them and be like, yo, talk to the MMA holes. Psycho Stick is like a heavy metal satire type band that I've been listening to for years, man. They are heavy and they are very funny as well. And I reached out to him. I was like, you know what? Wouldn't it be great if the new MMA Hole song was written by Psycho Stick? Yeah. So I threw it out there. I want you to clean your vagina. Go out on uh, social media and spam Psycho Stick and say work with the MMA Holes. Help us out. Um, their Christmas album is, is absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, very ch- childish humor in their music, but... Their music's actually but surprisingly. We're also a very childish show. Yeah, they're good. They're 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 a good band. Uh, yeah, Guaro is unavailable. It was unavailable. Yeah, hit them up on uh, social media. I reached out to them and see. I want to see if we can uh, we can collab and I can get them to do the the intro. Well, you hit them up on social media, then. Huh? Didn't you already hit them up on social media? I want them to bother them, Jesse. What if they find them annoying? Not everyone's like you. It's like, ew, I'm annoyed by everything. No, these people over here have to help us out. I get annoyed by everything, Moss. I just get annoyed by annoying people. Anyway, uh, let's get into these fights over here. Uh, We're waiting on the first one to get started. Tuesday night party going on here. Make sure you hit the like button. Be sure to do that, chat room, please. Uh, It would be wonderful, wonderful of you. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, Let's see. Travis's felony should wrap the intro. Ask Alice Storm. <laughs> Alestorm? Alestorm? I'm trying to get used to receding hairline moss. Receding hairline moss? Moss I doesn't c- have a receding hairline. I couldn't even try to recede my hairline, you know? Yeah, it's actually weird. Like moss and knock it's on like wood. It's like the only thing I got going for me. Yeah, moss, moss doesn't <laughs> have a receding hairline. It's the only thing I got. <laughs> I don't have much going for me, but that's about it. I don't know why. By now, it should be gone. I think I passed that stage already, right? Like, I feel like... Cause like my hairline's like right here, yeah. so it went back yeah, a little so bit yeah. already. But I think I think I'm good. So until I hit my 60s and 70s, when I just completely hit the wall. But your dad has really thick hair too. Though. No, it's thin. My dad's in thin. In the front? No, my dad. Uh, it doesn't recede in the front. Um, he's got a whole bunch of things going on there. Yeah, he's his hair is not very strong, but his brother is nice thick hair. Yeah, I, I think your hair would be fine. Yeah. I'll be gray. I'll be completely gray, though. Yeah, he's graying fast, but yeah. he's not. Uh, my whole sides are gray. and But his hair's not receding. So it's all good, man. It's all good. There's nothing wrong with the receding hairlines. I just hope I don't get. Look at the side. We discovered this today. I got like dents in my head. Look at this. I, 
got fucking I got fucking dents in my head. It's metal plates in there, Jesse. Like I'm a real man. No, I don't even know what the hell that is. But yeah, I'll probably just ferment a little bit more. I've already just just ferment in the beard a little bit, you know. Put a little in there. When's the last time you ever just ferment your beard? Well, put a little bit in there, you know. I think it was like months ago. So, who cares? <laughs> I sprinkle it in there every once in a while. Why not? I just just it's just for me. This is natural beard. Months. I don't do it for women. I do it just for men. <laughs> because for some reason, men criticize men. I never understood that, by the way. What, guys, and that's like the yeah, whole thing about working out. Fuck. Girls don't say, oh man, just for men. Ho, ho. Your hairlines were seen. You never hear a girl say that to guys. Yeah. But for some reason, guys are such Karens to each other. Like yeah. They're just like, oh, look at your hair, man. Because like, guys are more Why are we checking each other out? <laughs> It's, I feel like like guys like to come across as like oh they're not insecure women are insecure but it's I weird. think it's the complete opposite I think men are so insecure but they're not allowed to talk about it because they're men yeah why do we so do that so they like attack other men to let their insecurities out what's that about boys why do we do that don't do we ever like if you really think about it it's kind of it's kind of bizarre well think about it like you're, we're all you as each other. a man it's like an alpha thing if you have insecurities you don't talk about them but women we always talk about our insecurities with each other. But men don't talk about their insecurities with each other, so they just bash the other person for their insecurities or for their whatever's wrong with them. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's, it's like, like a, a puff, a puffing your chest out yeah. type thing. All right, so here we go. Danny Sabatello is walking out. Let's get into our little broadcast booth. Wow, that was a dramatic fade. Okay. Chris Clark says, that's so true, Moss. I carried your beard looking pale the other day. Yeah, it's weird, man. Like we all, we all just like, we observe. Like I, I'm guilty of it too. I like with my buddies, like we all fuck You're with Karen. each other. Yeah, we all bang. Like we all like, like bang out jokes with each other. Like make fun well, of each other. If you're just joking, it's fine. But if you're like trying to make someone feel well, insecure. yeah, yeah. When you see someone face to face, it works. But like when you see someone online. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like if you're intentionally trying to just make them feel bad. So it's like, so basically it's like if I text someone and say, hey bro, how's that receding hairline doing, buddy? Like it doesn't work. Yeah, it's just fucked up. But if if I saw them in person and be like, yo, check out those golden arches on you, bud. What's going yeah. on? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference. But online it's the same thing. Wonderful, wonderful. You can't even see what kind of joke they're telling. I hope my ownage of you on Twitter didn't diminish your confidence tonight, JBH. I'm sure you're very good at other stuff like sandwiches and pleasing moss. MMA just isn't for you, JBH. My God. Don't worry, you're still a pretty girl. Wow. Now bend the knee. La 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 lul. Dude, you didn't even, like, there wasn't even an argument, though. And that's what I don't understand. Like, you straight up just started butting yourself into someone else's conversation. Oops. And there wasn't Too even late. an argument. I'm gonna beat everybody. Twice begun! But Hamza Jamaya donation came in. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I'm gonna finish 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 everybody. I'm gonna smash everybody. Thank you, Uncle Mark. Moss, you look like you're ready to enter the octagon. But I fear you would spew chunks should carnage ensued. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. By the way, a takedown immediately. Sabatello gets the takedown on Moore inside the guard, trying to get some work done, but that's a quick start for a Sabatello. All right, back to what you were saying there, Jesse. I apologize. The donation. I don't have anything to say. Like, it doesn't bother me because I know for a fact that there wasn't an argument. Like, the guy just, like, he called me a hater because I stated my opinion about something. And then all he was doing was dropping gifs after that, and he got, like, triggered. And he started saying he was winning an argument and all this stuff, but there was no argument like i don't understand i don't know whatever. i'm glad i have no idea what's going on it's fucking weird this guy's a weirdo all right sabatello is doing the work inside the guard more is holding on tightly contently looks like more trying to scoot around by the fence here pulls him comfortably in guard sabatello trying to let those hands fly rib shot by sabatello sabatello is lifting and pushing down and just trying to free up those hands more is really tying him up here Sabatello was the big favorite, right, in this fight? The Italian gangster. We've been saying that the the Paisans have been pretty lackluster in the UFC. There's no such thing as a, a good Italian fighter. So maybe you Sabatello must. would be the guy. You're a good Italian fighter. Uh, Yeah, we've already discussed that. Way past my prime. And probably would never 
ever do what's going on here because I'm too much of a pussy. Yeah. Like the chat. Uh, <laughs> we're all in the same boat. <laughs> That's why we sit here and make fun of these guys and joke around. Still working inside the guard of Sabatello. So I got some grind in action here right in front of his corner too. So with that takedown, he's got Mike Brown to give him some advice and elbow slicing from the top Sabatello. More trying to get something done here. Trying to push him away or hold him, tie him up. Sabatello has been controlling the whole first half of the round. Mosh, you fucked your hair. See, there we go. Another guy criticizing a guy. Because he has like weird things about himself that he doesn't like. So would you say it's insecurity? I Yeah, I think there's some, like like the triple cringe guy. Like I think that he's got his own weird <laughs> thing. And he feels better going yeah. after other people who aren't doing anything to him. Like so, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, I think it's I don't know. Oh. All right. Well, that's why. Like, speak like, away in the chat. Go who gives for it. Because you're just showing your own problems. Like, where the chat is therapy. It's uh, you know, let let your anger loose. Let let it loose. Uh, still working, Sabatello. As he is tangled up with more on the ground, dropping an elbow from the top. So Sabatello, complete control on the ground. I wish the UFC put the strikes up like regular fights. I'm not sure why they don't show the stats. It's kind of weird. I mean, Keep these are fights. Loss. These are professional fights. I missed a hidden joke in your dono. Mm, Moss, you look like you're ready to enter the octagon, but I fe oh, fear you would spew chunks should carnage ensue. You would spew... Wait. He fears I would spew chunks. But he put fear in quotes with F E capitalized. Fear. Oh, the ear. But he capitalized F and E. He should have so, capitalized the E A R. So he fears. Get it? <laughs> so, yeah, Mark, you capitalized the F and the E, but it should have been the E A R. That's all right. We got it, though. We got him, man. Still working on the ground. Sabatello. Sabatello inside the guard. Some more here. And uh, he's, there we go. An elbow sliding in. Sabatello completely dominating the minus 650. Still controlling here. With 38 seconds left in the first, it looks like Moore is just going to basically hold on and live to see another round. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Travis, what up, Travis? How much money would it take to get you in the cage, Moss? <laughs> Everybody's got a number. I've already been in the cage. No, fighting in the cage. What? He asked how much to be in the cage. How much? Well, I'm Didn't, asking. I did it for free a couple of times. to get you to fight in the cage? It didn't say fight. I'm asking. How much money to get in the cage? Um, I did it in the beginning for free and then I got paid. Um, no. Doesn't really cost much. No, I'm asking now. How much I'm would answering it the cost? donation. You got to donate and I'll can answer. You, can you answer me? If you donate, I'll answer. Moss, why won't you answer the question? <laughs> All right, round two. <laughs> it's weird. You have to. It has to be a two dollar donation for me to to answer. Yeah. Okay. All right. So round one, complete domination by uh, Sabatello. The problem is, uh, it's not enough to say, "All right, get this guy a contract." He he kind of you know tried to let the arms loose and the hands fly, but really didn't see enough to to get you know what's going on here there was a 449 of ground control time so yeah he controlled him but hopefully we get some more action here let's 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 see what we can get in this second round <laughs> all right here we go round number two Moss looking legit mma that's right because i watch the ufc i am i'm a professional mma you fighter know what? i like when you ha like are just buzzed because it what's feels that? like velcro it is velcro actually like Whoa, what the f what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, so before they hit the uh, bench, got a little little frisky. You son of a bitch, Jesse, you distracted me. All right, here we go. Round number two. All right, let's see if more can get something done here. Tuesday night fights, baby. Tuesday night fights. So Sabatella trying off with the head kicks to start this thing up. More coming in. Now more looking for a takedown, shooting Sabatella stuffing it. Was that the smart move? Well, you just got dominated on the ground. So you shoot for a takedown. It did not work for Moore as Moore is on his knee and Sabatello squirms around to the back side. Now he's on the side. Why did he? What the? Moore's trying to get back up. He's trying to use the fence. And Sabatello lifting him up from the waist. Puts him back down on his knees. Moore scoots over to the cage. 
on his knees, Sabatello on his back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Let me see this guy's record here. Yeah, this guy's a big favorite. You're a minus 650. and Oh, that's why he went. He's hitting him with some left hand, Sabatello. He's a decision machine, this guy. Trying to get the hook in. Well, the UFC is, they're trying to get anyone they can into the, you know, to fight. They want guys, hungry guys on the roster to fight during this crazy times. So, let's see if he can try to get a finish here. He's working on the ribs now with the ribs, uh, the hook in. Oh, there we go. Going for the neck. Sabatello. More fight in the hands. Sabatello could lock this thing up here. 335 left in a second. Moore does put his head sideways, and then there we go. Slips right out of it. So Moore does a good job getting out of that situation. But Sabatello still in control on top. Half guard. Oh, boy. Sabatello will finish this round since Travis. It's possible. Yeah, it is very possible. Moore looks like complete hot trash. Elbow uh, slicing in from the top by Sabatello. Moore is on a three-fight win streak, but there is a reason why he's a big underdog. I had a friend in um, my ch- childhood years, Moss, who had the same last name. Moore. Moore. Yeah, I'm sure there's there's a lot of people with that last name. Sounds pretty common. So what did we say in the beginning of the show? Last week was a fantastic week of just finishes and but craziness. But don't worry, this is just the first fight. And right off the bat, we're starting off. We're spoiled, man. We're spoiled. Saturday night was crazy. Last Tuesday was crazy. And it's basically more. Oh, they're standing up. Wow, the ref. What the hell was that? Oh, he stopped him and then reset them. I don't know why he stopped him. Maybe it was a headbutt or some shit. I don't know, but lets them go back into action. Sabatello inside the guard again. And we got 225 left in the second round. The ground strikes 75 to 13 in favor of Sabatello. And he is landing now. Landing some more. Left, right, coming in. Sabatello standing over him. Just pushing his legs into his body more. Trying to squirm from the bottom. Slicing some punches, but... It's been all Sabatello for one and a half rounds. His ear. Uh, Billy Moore, what a movie. Billy Moore, what a movie. What's it, Billy Moore? I don't, I've never seen it. Is it new? Old? Uh, Gary Moore, Thin Lizzy. Tough is more exciting than Contender so far. Yeah, I, oh. I saw someone drop it in the chat earlier, too. They said the Contender series is... is um, always boring. That's completely false. This is a bad fight, yes, but the last week was insane. It was completely insane. I think so I say meant false as a whole. No, I, I disagree thoroughly. It is a good. <laughs> it is a good. Um, a good way to see up and coming fighters and stuff like that who are. Contender series trims the fat. Yeah. Like the Ultimate Fighter, if you like fucking reality shows, watch the Kardashians. You know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't give a fuck about reality show. I, we're here to watch fights. But you do like the ultimate fighter. The ultimate fighter sucks too, because sometimes they'll cut to the coaches and it's just like, I don't know. They try to make it theatric. There's an elbow from the bottom by more, but it's been pretty much all Sabatello. It's kind of crazy. I mean, at least we just get to the fights. Like ooh, if I want to watch that stuff, I'd keep up with the Kardashians. But I thought you liked <laughs> that. Like the theatrics and stuff. Cedric likes reality shows more than the contender series. There's been more bad seasons than good seasons in the Contender Series. Let me just put it that way. There have been good seasons, but more bad. Oh, my God. This thing is stuck on the mat. Sabatello is just kind of grinding on him. Slipping some shots here and there. 25 seconds left in the second round. It's going to be two zips. Sabatello. By the way, Sabatello is this guy. He's the Tanner guy. And Dan Hooker, Walmart Dan Hooker, is uh, Taylor Moore, who's getting his ass whooped. Oh, the Sonny's going to hang up the light heavy fight to Glover. Oh, like he's what? He's going to hand it to Glover? Quite possible. You think so? Yeah, because like I said, Dana White Oof. said the only reason they didn't put together the Whitaker Adesanya rematch was because Whitaker didn't want the fight. And that wasn't true. Whitaker even came out and said he just wants to fight next year. So because Whitaker came out and told everyone that, Dana White could very well put together Adesanya Whitaker rematch for next year and then put together Glover versus Jan. It won't make as much money, but they could still do it. They should still do it. And in the long run, it will make more money. If they think of the long-term plan, it will. 
I'm telling you, they could get more fights out of it. It would make more sense, more money. Everything's a win. If they want to get the quick buck, then you do Izzy versus Jan. But if Izzy loses that fight, that quick buck, well, it goes right out the window because now you can't do the John Jones fight. So make Glover. Come on. Give me the Glover fight. Give me Glover, Jan. Izzy, Robert Whitaker, too. Let's do it for the fans here. All right, here we go. Round number three. I mean, do you have anything to add to this? I mean, it's it's pretty ridiculous. Negative moss. <laughs> okay. Maybe let's just skip the first fight. Well, say what you will. I mean, Sabatello has dominated, I guess. You know, he's had control two rounds. Sabatello starting with the kick to the body, right? That was all Moore's fault, though. Moore went for the takedown. I'm not sure. Sabatello shoots more stuffs, but Sabatello trying to loop around to the back of Moore. Moore standing there, bent over, gets driven to defense. Sabatello trying to get the underhooks here, hits him with an elbow level changes. Moore trying to Kimura the arm and gets taken down. And there you go, Moore. Back down to the mat. This bantamweight bout is back on the mat. A lot of lefts coming in by Sabatello. So Sabatello having Moore down to the ground once again. Passing a leg over. Half guard from the top. Now inside the guard. As Moore pulls him in. Moore trying to scoot over to the fence. And uh, it's going to be four minutes of the same bullshit. Oh, my like God. Like tournament style. Michael Jackson walked down the street, pulled it down his Billy jeans, whipped out his thriller, and beat it. I got it. I got it, man. Whew. I get it. That's a Michael Jackson joke. Yeah, Moore's just getting whooped. Moore back to the mat. Sabatella's still inside the guard, and Moore's just... Grinding on him, slipping in some shots. is an elbow from the bottom by Moore. Moore's talking to him a lot, huh? He's yapping away. I wish we had the sound on. We could hear what he's saying. Does that, anyone hear what Moore is saying? As Moore is catching a beating, he's, he's kind of yapping to this dude. Still inside the guard. Sabatel trying to let, loosen up those hands again. Hits him with a right. Moore hanging in there. I'm curious what he's saying. Maybe it should be Glover versus Adesanya, then the winner fights Glover. Well, that's what we were talking about before, but... Wait, what? They are saying Glover, Adesanya, then winner fight, uh, fights Glover, but I think he meant Jan versus Adesanya, then winner fights Glover. But... Yeah, the problem is him it's waiting. A, it's a super fight, and it's fun, oh. but... Yeah, it just wouldn't make sense for Glover to wait. If it, if it ends this way with Sabatello, do you give him a contract? I mean, he did dominate him, Um, If they're looking for submission artists... Yeah, he's not a submission artist. He really isn't. How many submissions? There's does this no, guy have? there's no art right now. There's just let's see, just kind of ground and pound. Submission in his last fight. Submission, KO, he's a, he's TKO, a, submission. He's so a he boring a artist. Nah, artist. he's a boring artist. He just can't get the submission on this guy. He's boring me. <laughs> but he's been knocked out before. What do you think in the chat? I mean, it's a bantamweight. Are they starving for bantamweights? I don't, I don't know, but this fight fucking sucks. Pandemic Thanksgiving planning, guys. Can you believe Thanksgiving's in two weeks? My it's God. fast. You know, there's not, there wasn't a part in this fight where I was like, oh, man, oh, oh. Like, there were, yeah. like even if you're going to grind on him, you know, I, I want to see something here. Now, Sabatello is pushing the shoulder up, trying to pull the leg up. It looks like he's going for a mount here. He's trying to slip it out. Yep, trying to pass the leg over. Good defense by Moore. Wonderful, wonderful. Can't quite get that mount. And here is Uncle Chrome. No contract. Dana doesn't like dry humping with no finish at the end. Yeah, this is this is just not. I mean, I'd love to see Dana's face right now. He's, yeah, he's got to be sleeping. I mean, the ground control is insane, though. If you think about it, twelve minutes. Well, consider this a fight to ease us into the rest. Holy shit! He's still grinding Sabatello inside that guard. I mean, Moore did a good job stopping him from mounting. You know, been able to pull him back into guard every time. But I mean, that doesn't do any good here for helping him win this fight. Uh, left slipping in by Sabatello. Moore does get up, though. Sabatello le leaps on him and trying to go for the back now. Drags him back down again, hooking. Sabatello has a minute. this guy fighting out of? I think he's Florida. He's top ATT. You know? Yeah. Sabatello wow. is trying to get that back and, nope, doesn't. Has a hook in. And now we have a half guard from the top again. So this looks like it's going to end this way. Oof. Ah, man. Chris Clark says, I think I was off on my carnage prediction. Man, oh, you pick Carnage in this one? Yeah, I mean, he was a big favorite, and I don't blame you for. I mean, there was a bunch of finishes, right? So 
I don't blame you for doing that, but I guess you can credit more for not getting finished. I, I don't know. Just caught a beating, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, right. Coming in, left. Sabatello lifts over him, just pressing all his weight on him. Here's a nice elbow from the bottom by Moore. Moore's a tough son of a bitch. But um, you could tell Moore incredibly frustrated. A big mistake he made, though, in the second round when he tried to. Oh, here's some bad elbows from the top by Sabatello. Oh, there we go. Sabatello says, come on up, and cracks him with an uppercut. And th now they fight. The fight's over. Now, now you guys want to fight? Oh, no, no contract. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Now they want. They there's a sense of urgency with five seconds left. Sabatello lets him up, cracks him. More charges in. Oh, my goodness. No, thank you. Fight of the night. Gay. Thank God it's over. Oof. What? The hell is that? Oof. Oh, man. Poop these guys hate when they do that, says Uncle Johnny Smith. Moss got waves, waves on swim, so they hate on him. That's right. Uh, no contract, no way. Moss smoking everlasting. Uh, Uncle Mike, thank God, bro. Whew. It is the first fight. We still have four more left. So that's the good news. You know, we have four more fights left. And we are getting fights on a Tuesday night. If it wasn't for the contender series, we wouldn't. But, I mean, geez, if you want to get a contract, yeah, Sabatello did dominate. Uh, 159 ground strikes, 13, uh, almost 14 minutes of control time, and three takedowns. So, yes, those stats look very nice. But those 159 strikes, I mean, it just didn't, like, besides the very end and a couple sprinkled throughout the fight, I mean, nothing of significance it didn't seem like. But, yeah. Hawaiian Haze after the stream, baby. Hawaiian Haze. You smoking some CBD tonight, Moss? Yeah. I'll hit that. I'm going to hit that shit. All right. Let's see what the uh, chat says. Contract or no contract. I wasn't impressed by that in performance. Glad it's over, or maybe I'm feeling spoiled from fight nights. Is anything for us? K-Dub says, what a waste for Dana. Come on, man. Try to finish the guy at least. Heavy Microgrove says, one minute of stand-up, maybe 20 seconds of stand-up. Did it say one minute of stand-up on there? Uh, Yeah, and that's wrong. There's no doubt that's, that's wrong. That got award worst fight of the night, says P. Dizzle. Armando says, no. Trippin' Hippie says, no. Joby says, no. No. Glide says, safe North Cut. <laughs> little brother which one Danny Sabatello all right so it gets the unanimous the question is contract it looks like the chat has spoken and they're saying no Mike Brown is satisfied with the victory Sabatello looks satisfied let's see the walk past Dana White Sabatello is like he's like all pumped up about this I don't know why you know what he could get a contract for the fact that he's an ATT guy he touches uh, who is, is that? Uh, that was a weird interaction. Wonderful, wonderful. That was a weird interaction. You want to see a deadly body get me on the contender series? I will knock out my opponent and then the ref. I will start knocking out the commission guys as they run in one by one as well. Yes. Sounds like carnage. I would love to see that, Chrome. Let's get you. Let's lock them up, contender series style. Oh, Lord. Chrome should have filled in for that Hermanson fight, you know? Instead of Holland, put Chrome in there. Laura Sanko giving her the uh, giving the interview. Did and, she fix uh, her eyebrow? No, nah, it's it's forever screwed up, Jesse. It looks a little more fixed. This guy is, yeah, he's a real Ginzaloon, this guy. I want to hear how he talks. Hey, man, let me tell you. Oh, God, he's got a helium voice. Wow, he's got really high pitched voice. What the <laughs> fuck was that? He sounds like a lollipop kid. Oh god. He's like, oh, okay. That's not an Italian guy. Italians don't talk like that. Oh, very cool. Oh man. Hey guys, who I love the country truck here, man. Uh, my name is Danny Salvatore, and uh, let me tell you this. We got the uh, lollipop kids. The hell? Yeah, turn it down, Moss. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Christmas. Oh my. He looks like he has Ally Quinta face. Look at him. Oh man, Jess, I don't, I can't see the contract. I just 
I can't see it, man. He doesn't have a deep voice like this. He has a voice like, Hey, man, I could really go for that contract. You know, I didn't get the job done, but me, I'm Danny Sabatello. <laughs> Did you see me in there? Laid on the man for three rounds. Did away. Give me the contract. Give me the contract. Oh, shit, we played the audio, Jesse. We could get flagged. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Danny Sabatello. Wizard of Oz gangster. Kevin Lee says, sounds like Triple C in the <laughs> Olympic Games. <laughs> Anne An says, LOL. Matt sounds a sh shaka bra. I'll Imagine he's like, LOL. oh, shit, they reacted to my fight. And then he finds the street. He's like, oh, my God, look at that. Let me watch this. And then that happens. And then happens. you just fucking make fun and of how he talks. And he beats my ass. <laughs> 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 he just beats the shit out of me. He doesn't look like he talks like that, though. He looks like a Jersey Shore guy, you know? Yeah, it looks like he's got a deep, like, eastern accent. You know what he looks like? Fast Times in Ridgemont High. What the hell is it? Uh, this guy's oh, name? the weed dude? Uh, Yeah, what the hell is his name? Sean Penn. Yeah. He looks like a young young Sean Penn. But not in the picture. The picture does not make him look like that. But in on TV. Oh, Jesse, look at this. All right, let me pee before this fight. All right, we got another fight coming here. Wonderful, wonderful. Uncle Chrome. I wouldn't mind hanging my bobble sack out of that Sunday chick. That well, was nice of you to share that with us. I think uh, some people in the chat might agree that they would like to hang their sack out as well. Thank you, Chrome. Okay. Tuesday night. Tuesday night donos, baby. Making it rain, Uncle Chrome. With the content. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so we got Panero versus Frausto. That's the next fight on the card. Frausto is 8-6-0, the big underdog. 7-1-0, the heavy favorite is Panero. And, uh, yeah, she's she's on a little bit of a streak here. Brasilia. Brasilia. Did I click the wrong thing? Uh, yes, I think I did. <laughs> uh, silly me. There she is. Okay. Scroll down and woo, five fight win streak. Submission, submission, guillotine, submission. Oh, this broad's gonna make quick work. Panero, Panero bread, 26 versus 30 years old. All right, here we go. The ladies are gonna do it for us. Straw weight, hanging with the ladies. Stephanie looks like every one of my exes. Ooh. Did she make that face there? Like, huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? That's a devious face. That's that's something. She's she's getting into trouble. This girl. Uh, when you're on bottom mount, defend your ground and keep moving forward. Don't let your op take time to move and push out. Then get on top. The op will have the honor, or have to honor your grappling. There you go. There's advice from P Dizzle. Thank you, P. Dizzle. I will use that the next time I'm on the bottom of my opponent. I wish all my exes live in Texas. This is Mark. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, Jess. This brought over here, uh, uh, Launa <laughs> Panero. She looks like she's wonderful, all right. Wonderful, Looks like she's got some skill. Pretty sure the chick on the left sucked me off in a bathroom store once. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think you're right. I think I saw that. I think I was there for that. I was the one filming it. So where's the tape? A tape? I'm not that old, Jesse. Jesus. It wasn't a VHS camera. <laughs> yeah. I had my uh had my old school uh I taped it off of uh oh, I forget it. I forget. Oh god. All right. So thank you, Chrome. Appreciate that. What do you think? Do you think he's telling the truth about this? Yes. You think she did? Bra yeah. She flew in from Brazil or did it, I don't I, I don't remember this happening in Brazil though. I think she was she was like on spring break or something. Mm -hmm. Like I th actually think we were in Cancun, Chrome, right? Wonderful, wonderful. Chrome Coon. The big dog Danny Sabs. I wrestled him back in the day and I know him from the Chicago wrestling community. Danny fuck him up Sabatello. The Iron Pole in the main event. Let's see what this geezer has to offer. Nice mohawk. Thank Hammerhawk. You. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I don't you. know if I believe Kevin <laughs> 
Kevin, he used to wrestle with Sabatello. I feel like Kevin makes up shit all the time. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I, I, I know for a fact that happened. Yeah? I was there for that as well. I, it I, does say he was born in Chicago. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, he was in Chicago. I was there. I was there when it happened. <laughs> Were you there when everything happened? Yep. I was there. Right after Chrome got, Chrome got the blowjob from the Brazilian, mm. I actually flew to Chicago. And I was like, hey, Kevin, you mind if I record your, your rolling sesh with Sabatello? Did you store that tape too? Yeah, I have that. They're together. They're on top of each other, the tapes. <laughs> it's a true story. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate oh, it. good. All right. I, what do you think? Do you think the un- underdog has a shot in this one? Um, No. No. Huh? Okay. Not by the looks of it. All right. Tonight, we, tonight is story time on the MMA holes or not the MMA holes, our second channel. If you have any stories, feel free to tell us in the chat do or via donation. No, listen, I was there. I I'm uh, I I was uh, handy with that camera. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was there. I documented everyone's experiences. <laughs> I did. I sure did, Jess. Oh god. Chat's having a good time on a Tuesday night. Hopefully your week is going wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. As a cruise, we're going to do a show if you think about it, Jess. Mm-hmm. We did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's Bellator, Friday's Fuka Friday, and then Fapoom. We have a fight night. That's right. Who's on the fight night? I don't remember. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, it's a, uh, RDA, right? RDA versus mm-hmm. Felder. Yes, sir. Let's scroll through. Man, we got a lot going on. You want to go real crazy and do one championship too, Jesse? You want to no. do it all? John Lineker. What the? He's at one? When did this happen? I, it, we pr- You probably told us the story and I wasn't paying attention. John Lineker with one. Good for him. He was all right in the UFC. No one wanted to fight that guy. Mm. John Lineker. It's kind of bad, though, when John Lineker is headlining your event. <laughs> that doesn't really say much for one. Wonderful, wonderful. Could you imagine the UFC story on me right before my flight? It would just be of me busting nuts 24-7 around the clock. It's true. Thank you, Uncle Chrome. It just... <laughs> And I would be there filming it for you. Uh, during the week on a previous show, everyone was like, yeah, one championship's got legit people. And then you see a card headlined by John Lineker, who was d- a decent UFC fighter. But if he's the guy headlining your one FC cards, I mean, how could you make the argument that they have some serious talent? Mm. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> right? A little ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bare, bare Knuckles Friday, too. Yeah. Holy shit. There's so much combat. I, I can't contain myself with all this combat, Jesse. It's too much. It's too much for my brain. We're going to have to watch Bare Knuckle. Actually, don't we still have that subscription to Bare Knuckle? Did you cancel it or no? We... We're probably paying for it, aren't we? Yes, I think oh, so. Shit. I don't know. I'll have to double check on that. Oh, man. We got to contact Bare Knuckle and find a way to get a free membership. But most importantly, Moss. Yeah. Exonerate wants to know, Chris, are you a bum? Yeah. I thought we went over this already. <laughs> Exonerate. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. actually his real name, Exonerate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is, uh, yeah, that's his birth name. Uh, when is PVZ getting going to get busted up? Sue, actually, There's New a Year's Eve, bare I think. Knuckle on. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, Super Bowl, right? Wonderful, I think wonderful. like Super Bowl weekend, Paige is fighting. Glad to see they fixed that door rampage ripped up like a piece of paper. (laughs) That door had a family. Didn't like multiple Ultimate Fighters, they just beat the shit out of the door on the way out? It wasn't just Rampage one. I remember other ones, they did it too. And then they stopped doing it. Dana White's probably like, listen, I can't pay for all these doors. You got to stop doing it. Don't they open the doors for them now? Yeah, now they they don't do it anymore. But I remember a couple of seasons they did that. Stop the fantasy. Stop it. I think that corn feed muscle bound makeup shit artist and the corn ball from Chicago are losing their minds. Hmm. What do you think, Jesse? Are they losing their minds? The corn ball from Chicago is Kevin. Who's the corn fed muscle bound makeup? Oh, Chrome. Are you talking about Chrome? Yeah, of course. That's his actual nickname. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Oh, this girl, this Brazilian is going to, she's going to submit the. The vagina juice out of this girl. It's it's not going to be a good night for Stephanie Frausto. Sorry, Steph. We're we're cool like that, Steph. 
Stephanie Frost. Steph. Oh, boy. Jess, this is going to be bad. All right. 27, Luana. 30, Frausto. 5'2", both. 115.5 pounds. Pin, is it Panero? 115 pounds at Frosto, 61 inch reach for Frosto with a one and a half inch reach advantage, 62 and a half inches for Panero. All right, where's my Brazilian cunts in the chat? Let's go, Brasilia. As go. whoa, damn, they started that Moss, quick. Come on now. I mean, did Get you see that coming? <laughs> that they, I mean, they didn't waste any time. It's just like, go, girls, just beat each other up. Panera in the Panera. Panero. Now I want Panera. Panero in the blue shorts. Frosto in the gray here comes the sub i hope you're right moss this is a woman's fight you know that's incredibly sexist <laughs> oh good all right panero is on the outside frosto is kind of putting a little pressure on her here but they're just kind of glove tapping right now here we go leg kick by frosto leg kick returned by panero both of them in the center circling around one another feeling each other out for a range they are feeling each other out yeah. wow and feeling each other up. Panero is circling the center now. Threatens to come up with that jab, but doesn't make any contact. Can's about to be crushed. Yeah, Frosto looks focused, though. Nah, Leg kick by Frosto. She's going to be crushed. They're not really making much contact with each other. A right by Ooh. Panero, followed by a leg kick by Frosto. Hmm. Another leg kick by Frosto. Do you think this Frosto has a shot? Frosto tries to come upstairs with a head kick. No contact. Leg kick by Panero. By the way, to those of you that don't know, Panero is the blondish chick and Frausto is the smug one. Wow. Panero comes in for the right to the body and then eats a kick to the body by Frausto. Frausto. Three minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Another leg kick attempt by Panero. Kind of grazes off. Now Panero circling the center again as Frausto follows her. Uh, the gin, the guinea won the first fight. The wise little goat, the Ginzo, the Ginzaloon. Frausto trying to come in for that right, but no contact. Oof, Moss. I don't know. Don't worry. No contact being made. See, what I'm a little worried about is Frausto has fire hydrant body, and usually it's very oh, tough. Oh, stop! No, it's tough to fight a fire hydrant. A Try to punch a fire hydrant. See what happens. <laughs> a leg kick by Frausto. Lots of glove tapping going on. A right attempt by Panero. No contact. Kind of blocked off by Frosto. And Frosto went in for that leg kick. Another right attempt by Frosto. Blocked by Panero. A kick blocked by Panero. Another kick. Panero backs out. Oh, Moss. I don't know. Body kick by Panero. Followed by a left. Frosto. Here we go. Panero oh, comes charging oh. in with the shots. And Frosto falls. And that's a TKO win Whoa. for Panero. Not a submission. Woo. A straight up carnage. Just when I was saying, I don't know. Yeah, this girl's good. This she got, girl came charging forward with a barrage of shots. She got fed a tomato can. It was great. Activate. Activate. Carnage. Lick the yes. carnage. Embrace the carnage. Wow, she just punched her lights out. Oh my god, that felt uh, that just felt so wrong. Oh, the hook, the left hook is the first thing that cracked her, but the uh, series of punches that followed. Woo, Panero just slinging the gloves around. Panero Brad is the uh, blonde one, Gio. Oh my. Yeah, Panero beat the living shit out of her. Oh, uh, Dana's got the beats by Dre on. Dana's he's he's hard as a rock right now watching the replay. <laughs> yeah, because the girl's he had pretty. To lean back because the girth, moss. Yeah, he's like, oh my god, she's attractive, and she just knocked her out. She knocked out the can. <laughs> Sign that girl. All right, so she's gonna get a contract. She's gonna get a cunt track, right? Is that what happens when the female fighters get contracts? This poor girl, man. She didn't even get in shape for the fight. I mean, moss. She's a plus three thirty. There's no way she's. She's also win that. plus sized. What's going on here, man? She's not plus size. They shouldn't have matched. That was t that was terrible matchmaking. What are they doing here? <laughs> what are they doing here? Hey, we want this Panero to be in the UFC. Let's put a, a a can in front of her and see how it works out. This poor girl. I feel bad for Stephanie now. 
Stephanie, I'm sorry for all the jokes we made. But unfortunately, you're fired. You're fired. Uh, she should fight that wolf chick, says Glide. Uncle Marcus says, LOL. Matt Stone says, Brazil win. P. Dizzle says, that, uh, those girls are hot. Nah. Uh, <laughs> what? Panero's hot? Uh, Panero, yes. But I, with those girls is wrong. Joe the Bean girl. says, tomato can. Boy, I, she almost fell out of the cage. Panero. She's she, excited. She almost freaking, the guy had to catch her. All right, let's see what Dana White. Dana White's like fist bumping. He's like, call me. You saw that? He's like. That was a pretty good knockout. Yeah, she cracked this girl. Take a oh better my. picture, you bish. <laughs> Heavy micro. Well, you know what? This picture actually makes her look better, I think. She looks better in the picture, right? Who? Um, Stephanie. What? I don't know. She looks better in this picture than in person. She's not ugly. Stop it. It's a weird picture. No, I, I said she looks better in the picture. Kind of looks like a dude. Great smile, too. The blonde is a seven, maybe. But no, she's definitely more than a seven. Yeah, I think this girl... She's pretty hot. Uh, Yeah, I mean... She's got a good face, good bone structure, pretty <laughs> eyes. Yeah, she's all right. She's all right. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Seven over here. She's got great traps. <laughs> great traps. I like my girl, great traps. Her eyebrows are on fleek. Yeah, she actually looks better in person than in the picture. And she's not like all dolled up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's all right. Cute. You put some lipstick on her, she'll be all right. Don't put lipstick on her. She's cute like that right she right now. <laughs> lipstick is gonna make her look like a clown. What do you mean lipstick? All women besides you wear lipstick. She doesn't need lipstick. And not all, all women, women wear and clown all female clowns. That's just wear, bullshit. Wear lipstick. Not all women wear lipstick. That's my type. A female clown. Uh no one's ugly, just different. They're saying it's seven point five. What do you guys rate her? Nah, Six point five. They're I not like it. I give her like a nine and a half, ten. She does have like a horse, like horse, horseish People quality. People say that about every female. No, no, that's not true. Like every she actually, female is no. called a horse. But, oh man, I wish I could take a picture of it. Like she, she does has not have a horse Any look. girl that has like a defined chin and like those like cheekbones, like they look kind of horse-ish. Nah. nah. She does not have a horse look. She's really pretty. But then why does she have a feed bag on, Jesse? What? No, it was a horse joke. All right. Anyway, let's get the ratings in chat. Um, dude says Phil B. Travis says seven point nine five. Go higher, bro. Hmm. Six point five at best. She's a bagger. Thank you, drunk. Pretty dyke. How are you feeling tonight, JB? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm good. Oh, we got a nine in the chat. Yeah. See, I go with uh, missing left sock. I agree. Geo. Oh, hold on. Eight. Joe B says nine. Oh, we yeah. got high ratings in here. I agree. Nine, nine is is really close, dude. She's pretty. Hmm. Uh, from the pick, I say eight, and then he says nine. I'm assuming in person. Nine point seven point six point five point seven point eight point eight point six point five point six percent degrees. I, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. This picture, I think she looks prettier, like in person. Yeah, like, in person, she definitely looks pretty. Yeah, this picture looks all like a little. Looks, it doesn't do it justice. Like a stick up her ass or some, something like that. Yeah. This is good. Like far away, she looks great. You know? She still looks prettier without all the makeup. Yeah, she looks great. Just keep her far. No. <laughs> no, she's not bad. She's not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, so let's go to the next fight. So we're two in. The first fight, Danny Sabatello gets the win. He dominated, didn't get the finish. And honestly, I mean, it wasn't. Maybe he'll get a sympathy contract. But we know Launa Panero is going to get a contract. That's That's a given. Yeah, give Panera it, bread. Give it to the Panero. Next, we have Moda Lowry. Lowry 9-1-0, and Moda is 11-3-0. So a, a little closer, but Moda is the favorite. A 30-year-old versus 27. Two-inch reach advantage for a Lowry. A little taller. Uh, all right. See, if I looked at these two pictures, I would have to go Moda. Just by looking at the pictures. I feel like this guy over here could kick some ass and this guy over here is just, he was bullied. Right? Why do you think he was bullied? I don't know. He's got the bully face. Like he's been bullied. But he is 9-1-0. U.S. versus Brazil. Joyzy, a Joyzy boy. All right. Oh, Glover to Shara? Why is he, why is he talking, Jesse? What's Glover talking about? This must have been before the fight because he doesn't have a bruise on his face. I think he's talking about um, 
Nicholas Mota. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, Brazilian. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Hope everyone in the chat is doing all right, and if not, I hope y'all are at least having a great night. Oh, that's so nice of you, Frumptious. That Frumptious. That is you know, one of the really, nice, very nice. He really is like one of the nicest people in the chat. Like, have you ever met a bed uh, like a nasty snowman? That's true. That's a good point. Never. Yeah, Frumptious is a is a is a good guy. Frumptious and Uncle Champ have like Michael Anzalone tie. Oh, we're frozen. Oh no, we're not. Just kidding. Stop doing <laughs> that to me. What is that? Sorry. <laughs> the, chat, the chat looked like it was frozen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The chat looked like it was frozen. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Thing? I only did that once. I only That's ever twice. did. No, I only ever did that once. You did it last stream. I you, pointed oh, at you something. Did. Yeah, I didn't say we were frozen. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Stop. Because I have to go into panic mode and start hitting no, everything. I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Hold on to the ship. Strap on your seatbelts. We're going in. Asteroids. And I'm like. <laughs> And Justin's like, <laughs> that's what happens when the stream shuts down and gets frozen. I'm like, hold on, we're going in, Jesse. And just like, <laughs> and then when we come back on here, hey guys, we're back. Some technical difficulties. We just don't show you that part. Oh my god. Psh, psh, uh, psh, psh. Man. <laughs> Man, oh man. That's pretty funny. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good rendition, Moss. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Yeah. Every time. Almost exactly how it happens. <laughs> she, yeah, she's like <laughs> she's like Chewbacca. <laughs> I can't make that noise. I'm like, Chewy, settle down. I got this. <laughs> I can't do with Chewy. Wish I could. Oh god. Oh, fucking A man. All right. Uh, Chris the Ginger has Mohawk. That's he right. Moss Hawk. That's right. I got it. Look at that. Look at that, the way the headphones go, Jesse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So aerodynamic. Yeah. The original plan was to have this fade into here, but the plan didn't work out that way. So we just went, let's go straight up. Liddell it. And there it is. Okay. Stay tuned. The next. What, six months you're going to see the most bizarre haircuts, but I don't care, man. I don't care. Today I went out to pull the garbage out, and my neighbor gave me the triple take. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a double take. And I was not. Like, that's, a, that's a quadruple quad, take. Was that the quad take? Yeah. And I didn't say any. I, I was calm and cool. Any normal person would be like, oh, yeah, I got a mohawk. But I just, I just was just like. But she's seen hey. you with a mohawk before. I know, but this is shocking. Like no, the last it's not. mohawk, it had other things going. Like it was like hair here. Like it was like, oh, he's got a floofy mohawk. But this is like white supremacist. This is. Uh, stop. And saying if you're in that. Arizona, and you're rocking this thing, this is a problem. Here. That's I should not be stringing up blacks in the in the front stop porch. Stop it. No, so I'm kidding. Or um, am I? Didn't catch that fade. Good laugh. No, he, well, we were going to do a fade, but what happened was on this side. So I need to get him a new clipper set because one of his clips <laughs> on, on like the corner, it's like broken off. So it's very easy to like mess, like go too far in on it. And then it creates like a stripe. So we had a stripe on this side from it and I c couldn't get it fixed. So we just had to take it all off. Took it off, but we had to leave the middle. He needs a new clipper set. I'm going to get him a really good one for Christmas. We left the middle. That's right. Never know. You never know. That's why you got to tune in. You never know what the hell is going to be on my head. Next stream, you can see Jesse. Yeah, this guy's a mix. He's a mutt, this guy. This guy, Joseph Lowry. Moot. He's got a bunch of things in him. From Joyce. Get the Man Mower 3.0. Man Mower. Man Mower 3.0. Are you trolling or is that legit like a cool... We need a, we need a, wanna, a buzzer sponsor. Tell me your guys' favorite brand for for a clipper set <clears throat> like a really good one i'm gonna get him a good one for christmas moss would be a ginger zebra you should have kept the stripes <laughs> no it was like a racing stripe it was weird i had to take it off yeah uh i shaved my head moss try it no i used to um don't you dare i used to cut my hair all the time when i used to have like really long hair up top i used to pull it back in a ponytail a big ass ponytail and i just i used to do it all the time and uh, now Jesse 
does this to me. Uh, uh, are we talking Manscaped sponsor? I, yeah, I, I should. We should reach out to to one of these sponsors. Isn't there? Isn't Manscaped the one? What's the one that, that everyone's sponsored by? We Manscaped. Should, is it Manscaped? That's what the UFC sponsored we by. We should reach out to them. Throw us a couple of free buzzers. Uh, let's see. It's Manscaped 3.0, but that's for your balls. Well, oh, yeah. Did you see the commercial? They were talking about shaving your balls. I want to check. This guy is... Yeah, this guy, had, he's had some stuff go on in his life. Why do you keep Joseph doing that? Lowry, I'm looking at him. You can see the damage in his face. Like, this guy, you know he's been through some shit. He's got the I've been through some shit face. See this guy? A little late, but howdy... Howdy, you wonderful wonderfuls. What's up, Uncle Whiskey? Eduardo says Manscaped is shit. Oh, no. No good, huh? What was that? We were we reached out to one person. Uh, it was the beginning of the year, or maybe it was before. Maybe it was 2019. What was the one with the mirrors that we had the call Oh, with? but that that's not for, like, a clipper set or anything. Yeah, it is. Yep. Uh, I don't remember. It was like, cut it yourself. Did I you reach out to them? We were both on the call with them. We literally had a call with them. Remember, they have they have the mirror set. Call with so many companies that I don't even yeah. know anymore. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of them. I don't remember why we didn't we didn't do a deal with them. There's anyway. probably a good reason. All right, let's see. So Joseph Lowry is getting lubed up, getting ready to compete for a contract here. Good luck to Mr. New Jersey. As he is the underdog, a plus 180. Yeah, maybe this will be a good scrap. This is a lightweight fight. Last fight defeated a P. Zimmerman. He fought a doctor. Five wins by knockout. Former CFFC lightweight champion. So that's the guy over here. Joseph Lowry is this man over here, Mr. Tongue. Okay. Now Dollar his opponent. Shave. Moss looks like Clay Collard. Who's Clay Collard? Clay Collard. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, YouTube is run by globalists. JBH, would you ever cut your hair really short? Basically a pixie cut. I've had a pixie cut. When I was in high school, I did a pixie cut. But then everybody thought, it, like when it started growing out, like it kind of was like a boy cut. And everybody thought I was a lesbian. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Yeah. Uh, wall clippers, JB. All right, I'll look into yeah, it. Yeah, wall is the best. I think that was a wall, by the way, that we have. But they're the old. The ones that you have are like shite. They're old. Those things are, no joke, those clippers are older than you. <laughs> they're no joke. Older. I've had those things like when I was in my 20s. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're getting rid of them. <laughs> Sorry. They've been through many wars. <laughs> Uh, this Mata, Moda guy looks a bit <clears throat> bigger. Moss, what's the differences in these guys? Well, the uh, Moda guy is uh, is browner. All right, here's the tail of the tape. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. 27 Moda, 30 Lowry, 5'9 Moda, uh, 5'11 Lowry, 155 pounds both, 70.5 inches for Moda with a 73 inch reach for Joe Lowry. Is it Moda or Mata? Uh, it could be Mata. What's the Mata? Hey, what's the Mata with you? Okay, let's get the play-by-play. -play. This is the third fight. We've seen one decision. We've seen one finish. The ladies turned up, and now we have a... Yeah, I'll say... Is it Mota or Mata? Let me know in the know. chat. Uh, J, I know uh, girls that gave birth to a child and then became lesbian. Be careful, Jess. No. <clears throat> girls usually become lesbian because of the, the guy that they most recently dated. All right. Yeah, True that's, fact. That's... Okay. What? Yeah. No, you're born. You're either you're born gay. Not girls. Okay, not girls. Well, you eat, or unless men abuse you. All right, here we go. So Larry, uh, two joints says it's all right. Uncle Champ says Mata, but that's how it's spelled. Two joints says Mata. Mata. All right, so we'll say Mata. All right. So Mata's got the gray trunks, and Lowry has the blue trunks. We got four fifteen in the first round of action here. Both fighters have wide legs. Lowry, whoa, just missing Moda or Mata with the head kick. Mata has a compact stance. Fist close to the face. 
while Lowry's just coming in loose. Whoa, Lowry's swinging away. Moda, Mata, circling around back to the middle. Lay kick by Lowry. Two unknowns here trying to get a contract in front of Dana White. Whoa, there goes Mata again, throwing the leg up high, but blocked by Lowry. Lowry working the body hook by Mata. Oh, Mata with a nice combo right there on the Lowry face. Lowry standing there, eating it. Now coming forward. Lowry with the right. Lowry's got two eyeballs tattooed on his back in a very weird spot. He's looking at us right now. It's creeping me out. Body shot and the leg kick by Lowry. Lowry trying to chop a foot to the face with the front kick missing. And then a left hook by Mata. Mata hits him with the jab. Mata's got the reach. Um, yes. No. Lowry. <laughs> it looks like he does. I guessed. It's funny. When you read the tale of tape, it goes in like you say it and immediately forget it instantly. I mean, I read it's a weird. million tales of the tapes. Like No, it's just funny because like you just read it and it just it's like me. Like reading comprehension is terrible. I'm just reading it for them. I yeah. feel less. You know, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me just not care about these fights. I care about the fight. I just, yeah. I'm not going to absorb all the tale of the tapes. Oh, nice combo again. Countering in Mata. Stumbles Lowry, but Lowry just shakes it off and comes forward. So Mata looking pretty good with the striking so far. Lowry coming in with a flying knee, now circling in with some punches. Mata resetting to the back, to, right back to the middle of the cage, and then dropping a leg all the way over. Both fighters standing on this howler head beverage spirit. It's a whiskey moss. Lowry Mota. Mata. Mota Mata. Okay, here we go. Leg kick by Lowry. Monitor's just throwing some jabs out there. Not just kind of feeling it out. The kick to the midsection, but Lowry chopping in with some punches. What's the over under? Here we go. Combo City by Lowry. Damn, that, that combination landed. Mata's the It's favorite. about five punches that landed there. Right on the face of Lowry. Adelaide Bird looking fine as usual on the side, judging the fight. Mata circling around, eats a leg kick. Close fight here, first round, with 130 left, and here comes Lowry with a charging combination. Mata resetting to the middle. Lowry biting hard on that mouthpiece, coming in. Oh, the right hand by Mata drops Lowry, and Lowry bounces up. But that right landed right on the button. Oh, it's a Mata. You don't like Oof. it, me punch. Uh, Brian Platt, it's on ESPN. It's the link that is pinned to the live chat on top. That's all right. Use our link, please. Jab by Mauda. Mauda, Mauda, Mauda. Under wah, a minute wah, left. Wah. Lowry coming forward. Being respectful of what Mauda's done so far. There's a little cut on the left side of Lowry's face. Nothing crazy. Chopping in with a kick again, Lowry. Oh, man. Mauda just missing with a head kick again. Very close. It might come down to who finishes this round strong with 32 seconds left. Lowry coming in, closing the gap. Mata resetting, but Lowry keeps him on the outside. Mata trying to throw a right. Lowry creeping forward. 20 seconds left in the foist. Here comes Lowry. Nice left. So Lowry ending this round with the pace, pushing the pace. As Mata, oh, here it comes Lowry. Counter rights, chopping a foot to the middle. Whoa, misses with the left, and then Mata dr dropping some punches to the face. Lowry just throwing a hook that completely missed. And that's the end of the first round. They both collide in the middle. A little fire between the two, and now they go to the benches. I kind of think I kind of think Mata got that first. I just feel like he yeah, he dropped him and I'm gonna say Mata first round. Although Lowry had his moments. What do you think? I'm gonna say Mata round one. Hmm. What do you guys think in the chat? Mata or Lowry? Um, let's see. Uncle Champ says Casino, perfect gangster movie. Uncle Whiskey says Little Aggro there. Uh, Mata first. Kevin Lee says Andy Wang is a warrior. Get him in there. I was about to say Casino, LOL, says Frumptious Snowman. What's going on, says Obi-Wan. We're watching the Contender Series, my friend. What's going on? Stephen Perlowski says, Mata. Cedric says, what I think is I'm bored. Anything for us says, that left hook from Mata, though. Moss, do you think this is a boring contender series tonight? 
Uh, the second fight was all right. I mean, I mean it wasn't great, but it, we got to finish on that one. Listen, we, like I said, we're spoiled. We're completely spoiled from the last week. Last week has been great, and Saturday has been great. So we're we're due for a letdown, right? Okay, here we go. Round two. They're saying check the Discord. And... Uh... What, the Asian with the lips? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. There's some Asian with some big ass lips. Okay, what happened here? As I, try, I don't know why I checked the Discord. I, I'm never going to get don't that. Don't listen to them when five, they say check the Discord. Every time they say check the Discord, it's usually it's never nothing. <laughs> There's nothing like <laughs> content wise. And you know, eventually we're just gonna be desensitized. And then we're gonna check and then it's gonna be something like awesome. And we're like we're like, fuck that, man. We're not full for that shit. It's gonna be like some crazy news. Oh, <laughs> what man. the fuck? <laughs> Stop the show, check the Discord. All right. All right, so let me uh, sync up the clock here. As I guess that was a nut shot. I don't know. <laughs> it's never boring. Oh boy! All right. If you want those behind-the-scenes antics, become a patron. So, oh, nice left hand by Mata. Ew! Look at his nose. Did he just? It looks like his nose is crooked. Did he bend it up? Lowry's coming forward, but yeah, his nose he keeps touching it. Lowry, that is. I'm curious if it did get bent in the wrong side of his face. Kind of hard to tell. Oh, another right there by Mata. So Mata's finding a, a home for that right hand. Body shot by Lowry. Mata's circling back. So once again, if you're just jumping in, Mata is the gentleman all the way on the other side, and this is Lowry right over here. Lowry, I believe, is losing this fight, although that first round was close. And now we're in the second. There we go. Lowry with a combination to the face of Mata. Mata trying to kick... Lowry away, but missing. There's that left by Moda now. Hits him with the jab and backs up. Body shot by Lowry, and then a left. Oh, here we go. Lowry keeps charging him recklessly, and then Moda tagging him. Here comes Moda again. Hits him with the right, and Lowry's kind of limping. Oh, the left by Moda. Moda hitting him. Moda coming in with a bunch. Lowry's hurt against the fences. He's kind of wobbling. Left again by Mata. Mata looking for the kill. Lowry's trying to swing his way off the fence. The nose is busted open on Lowry. See, look at it sideways. Look yeah, that nose is banged out. Oh, man. Lowry's hurting. Mata's got to stay on him. 240 left in the second round. And they, I don't know, man. The way Lowry's holding his face and the ref's looking at it, he's seriously yeah. hurt. His nose is sideways. Yeah, Lowry's trying to be, I think he broke his orbital. Orbital. I, why can't I say orbital? Every time you say I it. I say orbitable. <laughs> <laughs> he's pulling an audible. Orbital. orbital. I, I really do think on the right side he broke it. He's orbitable. Orbitable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, trying for the head kick and blocked by Mata. Mata's got to stay on him. Dude, his face is rearranged. Get him. I think Mata's a little tired, yeah, though. Yeah, I think he's gassing he's out. He's probably waiting to finish the round strong, but this is not good. It's giving Lowry a chance to kind of... Recoup. I mean, I don't know how you recoup when your face looks like that. But Lowry coming forward with a I rearranged face. Time. Maybe La Mata's just disgusted by the look of his face and it's just like, I don't want to punch that anymore. Oh, man. Yo, Mata's tied. Now Lowry coming in. Holy shit. If Lowry can get a comeback here. Mata now swinging out of it. So Mata's holding back. He's waiting for the right opportunity for Lowry to make a mistake. Maybe the smart move. Lowry coming in. God, Lowry's tough. Oh, my goodness. The right side of Lowry's face is banged out. His nose is all bloodied up. Mata's got to stop moving around so much. He's going to gas himself. So Mata's just kind of waiting for the right opportunity. That's all he's doing here. He's waiting for Lowry to make a mistake. There it comes. The left hand by Mata. And Lowry's just, he's just rubbing the blood around on his face. Oh, this is crazy. Well, the people that think the Contender Series wasn't good this week, well, look what we got here. A left hook coming in by Mata. Lowry's face looks like a horror movie. Lowry trying to throw the jab in there. Trying for that push kick. Mata creeping forward. I just wish, I kind of wish Mata went for the kill. Oh, there it is. The head kick, the left. All right, Mata heard me. 44 seconds left in this round. Mata hits him with another left. He, he's just conserving energy. It's kind of crazy. Lowry's a lot of respect by Mata, but Lowry, I mean, you got to think with his face. He kept on touching. Body shots by Lowry and a right hand by Lowry. I don't know what this guy's doing. 
Where is that killer instinct by Mata? He he's probably exhausted. That's I I mean, it's weird. Body shot again by Lowry. Now we got 14, 13 seconds left in the second round as Mata is slowly coming forward. A kick to the body by Lowry. Lowry, oh, Lowry eating the combo upstairs again. Lowry going for a takedown, though, and pushing Mata to the fence, and the round is over. Work on that man's face. <sighs> Let's see what's up with Lowry's face, man. Well, you know what? When I started wiping the blood, can't really see what's going on here. But, yeah, his, his nose looks like it's broken. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pushed over. So they're working on that thing. So, I mean, the damage, I, I give it to Mata. It's just weird how he didn't stay on him. What do you think about that round? It was a good round, but I don't know. I feel like he's got a, I, he, he could still get a contract. He doesn't need to finish him now. Yeah, I mean, they, they cleaned him up. Ugh, his nose is Yeah, the like nose is probably broken, and under the right eye, it's, it's swelling up a little bit there, but they're doing a good job fixing that thing. Oh, man. Yeah, they're showing some highlights here. Mata cracked him with some good ones. That's a little bizarre, though. It's a little bizarre. I, I you yeah. know. Uh, have no fear. The King. I missed it. Sorry, man. Pre-2000s horror movie because this stuff is trash. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Round number three. So I'm going to say Mata's up two zip. That's what I'm going to say. Although that second round, Mata, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say two zip Mata. What do you say? Yeah, I'm going to say two-zip mod as well. Let's see. Can, uh, you know, it would be crazy if Lowry, com Lowry comes back and finishes Mata. That would be nuts. What's a Mata? So Mata's standing in the middle of the octagon. Lowry putting his hands up and the blood's coming from the face again. Lowry is tough. Say what you will. Mata swinging in and missing. Lowry coming in again. I mean, Mata coming in again with a couple of punches that miss. Lowry wisely steps away with Why that left hand. Why would you stop the fight, Pete? The fight's still, it's still a good fight. He's Lowry. not like, the guy, he's just taking a lot of damage to the face, but don't stop the fight. 9-1-0 Lowry trying to get a contract here, but he's in a little trouble. I do believe he's down two to zip. But he does hit him to the body, Lowry. Lowry trying to control this fight here in the third. It's Moda. This is not football. Moda? Okay. So everyone was telling me the wrong thing. How dare they? Yeah, I, I kept on wanting to say Moda. Yeah, it felt like Moda. Yeah, you son of a bitch is in the chat. How dare you? Oh, there we go. Left and a right by Moda. Yeah, it's so much easier to say Moda. Moda just doesn't... It doesn't roll off the tongue but as nice as Moda. it's spelled like Moda. Hey, what's a Mata? Potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. Here comes Lowry. Lowry's kind of deking his way in. Oh, nice counters by Moda there. I was just thinking about what you did <laughs> before the show. What's that? What? Oh, here we go. Nice combo again by Moda. Moda is working the body now. Lowry backs up. Now Lowry with a body shot. Returning the favor there. Moda's definitely tired. Moda's backing up and Lowry's trying to hunt him down. Nice left hand by Lowry and that opens up the face of Moda. Oh man, if Moda comes back in this fight, that would be insane. Moda chopping a foot to the face. but Low uh, I mean, uh, Lowry chopping a foot to the face, but Moda stepping away. Moda coming forward and trying for the combo. Lowry backs up. Lowry eats that one. Moda hits him with the right. We've got 215 left in this fight. A lot of blood dripping. And there's the left again by Moda. And Lowry coming in with a combo. It's funny, like Lowry's losing his fight, but I'd rather give Lowry the contract because at least he's pushing the pace, you know? Yeah, Moda's just getting tired. Moda comes in again. Here we go. Moda now throwing. He's just kind of conserving and then just exploding. Just waiting and exploding. Here comes Moda again. Stands his ground, landing. Lowry's face looks like it's opening up nicely. <laughs> but Lowry keeps coming forward. Here comes Moda charging. They're playing punch for punch. 
Oh, nice left hook by Moda. Moda trying with the head kick. Lowry trying for a takedown, and Moda combos out of it. Tuesday night contender series. Will we see a carnage here? There's 122 left, and here comes Moda again. Combo, nations, and then Lowry punches back. God, Lowry's tough. How many times did we say that tonight? Like, Lowry just keeps coming back. They both reset to the middle. 105 left in this fight. And Lowry's touching his face, and yeah, his face is all busted open. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hoofa. Oh, beauty right by Moda. Landing on the face. That has been annihilated. Lowry backs up to the fence, now holding on to Moda. Moda with the Muay Thai, but Lowry charges the shoulder into the midsection. Lowry trying for a takedown here. Moda could still get a contract from this fight. Knees are coming in to the thigh of Moda. Moda looking exhausted. 35 seconds left as Lowry has him against the fence. And there's another knee by Lowry as he's trying to beat up that thigh of Moda. Moda looking for the underhook to get off, but Lowry's still holding there. Lowry trying to get something going here late in this fight. Ref's telling him to keep the party going. You got to separate these boys, man. They're... There we go. Well, Lowry punches and then tries to level change. Wide legs, Moda trying to stop the takedown here. Four, three, two, and Oof. one. That is the end of the fight. Oof, ma. It was a war, man. It was a war. It's a weird war, though, man. I, I felt like Lowry, there was so many chances for him to be finished in that second round. And then Moda kind of pumped the brakes. Not having, I mean, the face of Lowry is, is destroyed. Do you give Moda the contract? Yeah, I would give Moda a contract in this. For sure. You know, it, it, the thing is the killer instinct, right? He did he did provide a lot of damage, and I guess you got to say Lowry's a real tough dude. But I kind of wish he really pounced when, when he had him hurt in the second. I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think in the chat? We don't even have a decision. We're just assuming Moto 1. Imagine they give Lowry the decision. Uh, Matt Stone says, fun fight. Doug Smith says, a fight of the night contender. I'm half erect, says Matt Stone. Uncle Whiskey says, let's do it again. Contracts to both. P. Dizzle, it was a drunken war. From to Snowman says, my fox trotter is either pregnant or on her way out. Aw. What? What? Okay. P. What's Dizzle? a fox trotter? Is that a book? <laughs> what is it? I don't even know what a fox trotter is. I'm just trying to figure out, like, pregnant and on her way out. Or, like, I feel like there would be two completely it's different It's a dying behaviors. pregnant dog? Right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Moda is smart. He gave us a show, gave himself some rest, and gave Lowry a shot. Okay, let's see. Let's see who got the win. Three rounds. Unanimous. It's got to be Moda. Ugh. Moda gets the win by unanimous decision. So, all right. If, um, have you taken to her a vet? So what was it? She's weak. Um, he said she's weak. P. Dizzle. But what's going on? I don't know. Someone what timed out P. Dizzle. What did he do? I don't know. What's the other deleted message? I have no idea. No, go up. All right. I guess he did something wrong. Uh, anyone uh, that was that oh, close? Oh, he's spamming Moss. Oh, is he? Yeah, it's the same thing over and over again. Oh, P. Dizzle. You need to stop it. Just stop it. Okay, so that was a decent fight. As Moda is passing Dana White. Let's see this interaction. Always like to see this. And then they go to a highlight. So we, get wonderful, wonderful. we don't get to see it. Start Come on, here. Brasca. Chime in with some amazing tales of macho prowess and feats of strength. Moss, check the, the disumbilical cord. The disumbilical cord. We already did. Chime with some amazing tales of macho. All right, thank you. Start the fantasy. Thank you for the donation. Wonderful, Moss, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Maybe I'll go live on my third channel sometime this week and see who, who subscribed. Okay. You want to do it with me? No. <laughs> I am not. 
I'm not driving traffic there until we have a legit plan. Because I no, feel just for fun. I feel bad though. You know, I feel bad because we're trying to drive people to the main channel and this channel. And then when we no, were trying to. I'm not to telling anyone to go subscribe. I'm saying. For I know. But when we were trying to do the third channel. I mean, if you want, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. But I'm saying, like, yeah, I, just it's fun. just, it's such a, a waste right now. Yeah. I, it's, I don't I'm like full. driving traffic. I, I know. I know. You could do it. I don't give a shit. But I don't give a. It's just that. that it's just like we, we do. We jerk them around so much. But I'm not driving any, anyone anywhere. Never mind, Moss. You're missing exactly what you I'm saying. You could do it. Yeah, okay. I said do it. Yeah, forget it. I'm not going to be there. I don't know why. I don't need to be there. They'd rather see you what anyway. What if I did a gaming stream or something? You don't want to be there? Gaming stream? What? Yeah. Why would you do a gaming stream on that channel? For fun. Just do it on this channel. Because you don't like playing Fortnite? Yeah, I'll, I'm out. So, shout out to the, Jesse. will do some Fortnite. I'll go to the grocery store or something. Do something like what? that. You never go to the grocery store? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's how much I hate Fortnite. All right, so stay tuned. Hit the notification bell. You never know. Jesse might hit you with the Fortnite. Hit you with the Fortnite. Well, yeah, you're not doing the, um, what's it called? Uh, fight briefing, so do Fortnite. Well, we have Bellator. So okay. do it. Do Fortnite during the oh, day or some shit. i do it during the day, yeah, and just yeah. see who shows up. Just for fun. Probably like two people are going to show up. No, nah, people will show up. It's like driving a minivan we and trying really to lure kids in. Over there. What? We don't really drive traffic over there. Who cares? If you said you didn't want to. You didn't care That's about what that. That's I was saying. So yeah. it's just to see who shows up. Okay. So why don't you just do it? Yeah. So I was asking if you wanted to do it with me, but you completely missed all that. Yeah. The answer is no. The answer is a, it's a hard no. <laughs> but I would you do it with you. Huh? I would do it with you. But the problem with Fortnite is um, it's only a one player game anyway. So it doesn't even matter if we have two people. Well, you can do split screen. I'm not doing that. If that was the age. Or we can play Fall Guys. Yeah, go ahead, play. Or we can only play at one player. Or hockey. <laughs> hockey. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of something to get you to play. How video about the, games with the me. UFC game? How about that game? That's a one player game. No, it's two. No, it's not. Well, when you don't have your own there, characters, it's. What do you mean? We could play. We could. I could play me versus you. You could be Habib and I'll be Connor. I'll whoop your ass. I'll whoop your ass. Hmm. I listen. I say less talk, more action. So if you want to do it, just do it. I'm not just talking to talk. I was just asking if you wanted to do it with me. So stop saying that. Because me and this community know that you bring something up. I wasn't just talking to talk. And everyone, it's like jerking each other off. I wanted to do it with me. That's it. I'm not. I haven't even said I'm going to do anything. I just wanted to see if you'd be interested. You so asking me or them? You. All right. So I said no. Okay. So stop with this. <laughs> st less talk and talk. I haven't even said anything yet. All right, I'm just trying to help the people out because I know they get disappointed. Anybody. You know, first you give them the fight briefing, then you yank that away from them. You know, what's next? You're gonna get them into something else. You're gonna yank that away. Are you these serious right now? These poor people. You're you're playing with their you heart. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're playing with. I'm trying to look out for you guys. I don't want you to do it to them again. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Oh well, yeah, that's the point. Obviously, that was not the point. I said, do it. You might want to stop. See, look, you made my cry. Mm. I like when you think of like, like you think the situation is something else and it's not. I didn't say anything. I know, but I could see it in your mind. I could see That's your wheels turning, right? Okay. Look, look, Uncle Champ's in. Let me know if Weren't you're you in. Were you just preaching about jumping to conclusions before? Okay, look at Uncle Champ. He's in. Okay. See, look. He's okay, in. but I didn't even say anything. I bet your uncle will be there. I was asking if you were interested. No, you don't have to ask. I answered. But I didn't say I was going to go live or what time or whatever. All right. You turned it into something else. You know what I turned it into? What? A bit. Yeah. I'm glad that I'm I'm useful content. for a bit for you. you you're a content, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Endless content. That's why you're wonderful, wonderful. All right, so co-main event. Let's see the next fight over here. This guy's got a cape on. Moss, do you ever annoy yourself? Um, do I ever annoy myself? Of course. Like, do you ever it's just like step back and go, I'm, I'm pretty annoying right now. Do you ever do that? Do you? No. You don't? No. Why would you ask the question then? Well, because you're being pretty <laughs> annoying. So I'm asking you if anyway, you all right, geez, ever annoy yourself. You bring me down these bizarre rabbit holes. Come on, move on. You, you're acting like a weirdo. Cut it out. 
So what do you think about this guy with the cape? Yeah. Uh, Shihan Santana. Any man with a cape's got to win, right? He's 6-0-0 versus a 5-0-0 Nathan Levy. This fight over here, the O must go. Two 29-year-olds looking for a contract. Miami versus Las Vegas. And this guy's got a mohawk. Shit, I might have to go for Levy. Israel. I don't know. Who are you picking in this one, Jess? Nobody. I don't know either of them. I'll go with Santana. Santana. Alright, so Santana for the win. I'll go with Levy because he got the hook. Let's see what the chat has. Uh, why does ducks have feathers? That's a good question. A cape and mohawk together would be too epic. I got Levy. Levy for the win. Where's Junior? Jew is censored. He's streaming on this channel. Santana's is the infamous. Uh, Kevin Lee says I got Walmart Shoney Carter. Kevin from Chicago says, can't say the word Jew on YouTube to cover their butt quack, says P. Dizzle. Cedric says, go live. Jess, we are live. Phil B. says, Santana. Moss is in also, LOL. Junior is live streaming. Levy is a slight favorite. Uncle Whiskey, LOL, what the fuck, Moss. He's streaming. I have Mohawk on a count of my hairline comment earlier in the stream. Uh, CN says, Cisco. Lizard King says, IP2. Duck feathers. So you, oh, Lizard King. So what the fuck happened, dude? So did Dope get out? We saw part of the RV6 stream last night um, before the show. And we saw that Baked and all them were out. I guess they, what was it? They were just there for questioning or what? I want to know what happened. I haven't been able to keep up with what's going on. Uh, F-O-T-Y on a contender series. Let's only hope a fight of the year on a contender series. Psh, nah. All right. Let me, let me set the, let me set the round here. 29 both. Six foot one Santana. Five foot nine Levy. Five, 158 pounds Santana. 159 pounds Levy. 71 inch reach for Levy with a four inch reach advantage. It's 75 inches for Shaheen Santana. Okay. Round one. Okay. Here we go. Jason Herzog is the referee for this fight. And start. Match your clocks up, my friends. Well, this one's starting off fiery. Santana in the blue shorts. Levy in the gray. Both of them exchange leg kicks here. And Santana almost falls off his balance. Santana on the outside comes charging forward with multiple shots to the face. And Levy eats them. 20 seconds into the first round, and now Levy's returning some shots, looking to go for a guillotine choke here as he holds on to the neck and head of Santana, bringing him back towards the cage. Oof, pulling tight. Doesn't look like he has anything locked in, though. Uh, Santana has been turned back against the cage. Levy holding on to that neck and knee to the head. Another knee to the head. More knees by Levy. Santana turns it out and slips out. Both of them separated, trading shots with one another. Santana tries to pressure Levy against the cage once more with two underhooks. Levy pressing on the face, looking to slip that arm under. A knee to the body by Santana. Levy in a position to stuff a takedown, but Santana just holding onto the upper body. A knee to the body by Levy. Santana holding onto the nuts as Levy turns it around and presses Santana back against the cage now. Santana looking for a way to slip out here. Levy trying to go for those those kicks, but Santana delivering the knees. Levy pulls Santana out and drops him onto the ground. Santana on his back. Levy now in side control. Three minutes and 37 seconds on the clock. Levy just laying there in side control, putting pressure on the head and upper body of Santana. No elbows. They're just... He's just laying inside control right now. 
Santana's trying to push Levy off with three minutes and 11 seconds on the clock. Not really doing any work on the bottom. Looks like Levy's going to try and go for that right arm. Perhaps for Kimura here. But Santana doing a pretty good job fighting that. Levy gives up on the arm. Santana trying to squirm his way out. As he holds on to Levy. Oh, toes in the cage. Massive toes in the cage. Levy turns it around, though. And Santana was trying to look to lock the legs around the neck, but no luck. Levy's still inside control here. Looking at... There we go. Looking at Kimura, that arm. And Santana slips out. Levy still finds himself inside control. Looks like he's going to slip into the guard here. And Santana doing some nasty shots from the bottom. And kicking upward as Levy stands over him. Levy fighting the, the feet as he drops in. And Santana's got his legs wrapped around Ooh. Levy's head here. Levy slips out. Santana's still on his back, and Levy falls to side control once more with Santana's knee buckled up against the abdomen of Levy. Two minutes and six seconds on the clock. Levy trying to squirm over into half guard, it looks like, but that one leg is just locked up by Levy's chest. Levy pinning the, le the right arm of Santana down as Santana tries to do some work from the bottom. But Levy's not really doing work from the top. He's just kind of laying on him. Getting that control time in. Here we go. Now there's an elbow. Inside control is Levy. Pushing on the face. Trying to bring that, that right leg overhead. Santana trying to bring his legs up and squirm his way out. But Levy just holding on to him like a doll. A minute and 27 seconds on the clock. And they're in the center of the cage on the mat. And it looks like Levy just tries to slip over to the mount. And no success. Still inside control with one leg pinned on the abdomen of Santana. Santana just continuously squirming in circles here. A minute and nine seconds on the clock. Now Levy trying to put that elbow against the side of the head of Santana. Only 57 seconds left. It looks like Levy's going to try and end this fight in side control. Problem is he's not really doing much. Two minutes and 40 seconds of ground control time. Santana's holding on to the leg now over Levy's back. Trying to pin him in to this position. Levy looking to turn around here. Yeah, there is a cape. Looks like Walmart Benson Henderson in the cage right now. Levy's still inside control. Neither of them doing work. Oh, boy. Levy, come on, buddy. Levy just like laying on him. He puts a little pressure on the head, and that's about it. Santana trying to drop some shots from the bottom, but here we go. Levy trying to flip the leg over the head of Santana. No luck. Now he drops a shot to the rib and to the head. Yeah, the forearm choke. That would have worked. That's the uh, end of the first round. That was weird. I felt like he had opportunities to land some elbows earlier. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't capitalize. All right. Well, I guess you give the first to Levy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but it was kind of a lame round. Well, you, it's because the Chevy was to the Levy and the Levy was dry. I bet you're proud wonderful, of that one. Wonderful. Okay, round number two. Let's go, baby. Let's get... Let's get some carnage here, boys. Don't let the ladies be the only carnage of the evening. For Fook's sake. Who's the four fucks? Says Philip V. American Pie. American Pie. Hit the like button, people. Tuesday night fights. We are in the co-main. Felder RDA Saturday. That's a fire fight. Felder filling in. Did you change the round? Maybe. Maybe not. We're going to find out when the TV drops. It looks like All like right. bootleg Vitor Belfort versus bootleg Oof. Benson Henderson. Head kick to start off the round by Levy, followed by a kick to the body. Spinning kick, and then a head kick eaten by Levy. So Santana trying to give him a taste of his own medicine here. This is a catchweight bout at 160 pounds. Mm -hmm. Kick to Ooh. the body by Santana. Woo! Ooh, nasty left by Levy. Woo! Santana felt that, comes in with the right. Levy going for the single leg takedown now. Santana stays on his feet. Head kick by Levy. Santana now on his knees, and Levy is dominating. Nice. Santana trying to wrap around and bring Levy into the guard, 
and successfully does so. Now Levy inside the guard. Santana oh, looking to shit. choke from the bottom. Brings the legs overhead. Using the get the fucking toes out of the cage, man. You cheater. Santana's a massive cheater, though. I'll tell you that. Santana's looping around the back. Yeah, he's a bad cheater. He lo he comes over to the back, takes the back of of Levy. Whoa. Looks shit. like he's gonna try and go for maybe the neck here, looking to go for a choke. Whoa. Levy leaning forward, trying to slip Santana off overhead. Santana with a nasty oh, lock, though. He dumped him on his head. And Levy now on his knees. Santana trying to to lock the <laughs> arms around the body of Levy. Levy dumped Santana on his head. That was crazy. Looks like, oh, he's going to pull an Aljamain Sterling here. Santana's holding oh, on to the ankle yeah. of Levy. And if Levy drops, his hamstring is done. No, he didn't go for it, though. He, he aborted. I saw what he was doing. I think Levy saw that, too. Levy's trying to shake him off now. Yeah, Levy's just trying to drop him overhead. Santana's got a pretty good lock around the waist, though. And there he goes. Santana falls, but oh man, Santana going for the arm. He's tricky, Santana. Slipped that, slipped that I hope leg he gets right it. over the neck of Levy, and now holding onto the arms. Levy fighting the arms here with three minutes and thirteen uh. seconds on the clock. Levy pushes Santana off, and now Levy inside the guard of Santana, dropping rights to the face of Santana. Santana just laying there, back in the <coughs> situation we were in the first round. Levy dominating and not really doing anything. He just lays on Santana until he wins the round. He just likes to lay on him and not do not do a, a fucking thing. I'm kind of with you, Chrome. If they can get away with it, who cares? Levy is laying in half guard now as Santana kind of locks his arm overhead of Levy to trap him in there, but it didn't really work. Why is Buffer back there twerking? I don't know. That's weird, right? Santana with his toes in the cage again, blatantly cheating. Ah, that's all right. He likes it. His toes are itchy. Nasty I like how shots of the ribs by Levy over top. Levy throughout that whole exchange was super patient. You know, Levy just laid on him the whole time. No, I'm saying when he was in trouble, both of the, like three of those times where oh yeah Santana was threatening, Levy was able to shake him off and right he didn't by, panic. by Levy land on the head of Santana. Two minutes and five seconds on the clock. Levy trying to push that arm of Santana down. Santana trying to slip out. <laughs> JPH is such a rat. <laughs> Yo, why are you ratting my man out? Yeah, I'm. I'm you're you're a snitch. The refs hear me. You're a snitch, Jess. So I'm you, ratting this. Fun fact: the refs, ha the ref has uh, the MMA holes actually in their little earbuds. Yeah, yeah. They're list He's listening right now. Uh, half guard for Levy. As Santana tries to sit up onto his butt and maybe find an opportunity to get out of here, but that didn't work. He lies back down and eats a right by Levy. Come on, forearm choke. I like that idea. He's had many of opportunities. Why isn't he not doing it, Jess? He just likes laying on him. It's so weird. Now Santana trying to lock his arms around the neck of Levy from the bottom. Levy dropping a shot. Santana locks that arm in with the left <laughs> arm. Arx is the only rat here. All right. Santana looking to slip out, but Levy's still lying in half guard. Man, oh man. Santana looking so frustrated. I would be frustrated yeah, too. Yeah, because Levy's not really doing anything, man. He's just fucking laying there. Santana kind of turning over. He could give up the back here as Levy's still holding on to him. He should rub his armpit in his face. Make him really get a good sm smell of that stanky pit. Levy pressing down on the face of Santana. Santana just rendered completely immobile here. If I was Santana, I would just keep putting my toes in the cage. You know? Just keep on throwing his toes in the cage. Santana curls into the fetal position and Levy oh, sits up over him. Now Santana trying to kick upward. Uh, Levy, though. <laughs> Levy's dragging him around. To drag Santana. <laughs> He's trying to drag him like a like a big brother, little brother thing. Oh, puts his knee right in the face of Santana. <laughs> I have a face full of my knee. Now Levy is kneeled down over the <laughs> upper body of Santana, dropping elbows to the butt. Santana's curled over. Oh my god, he's got a fucking face full of bull sack and knee. What a weird way to end that thing. Oof. That's a nice head kick. All right, two zip uh, Levy. What do you yeah, say? I'm not down with the cheating though. By the way, Levy dropping Santana on his head, they showed it again. Oh my god, that could not have felt good. Uh, elbow to the ass. Kevin Lee in the chat. Yo, the, the Motown Phenom. With his new tag, I, I think you should change your picture to the back of your head. 
I mean, that's the iconic part. That's the more iconic side of your face now, of your head, you know, right? Like this part back here. You got that crazy tattoo. You should change it up. Right? What do you think? Front face or back of the head? Back of the head. Elbowed him in the anus. In the butt cheek. Okay, round number three of this co-main event. Let's see if we get some carnage here. Oh, they're checking something. Santana. Is it probably because he got dumped on his head. By the way, oh, his cheek actually looks a little banged out. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's Santana we were talking about. Let's get a finish in this round. It's all we got. A kick to the body to start off the round by Santana. Pressuring Levy on the outside. Comes charging with the right. Trying to pressure Levy inside the clinch. Yeah. And now Levy trying to push Santana off. And turns it around. Santana back against the cage. And dropping a hammer fist to the thigh. Knee to the face by Levy. Santana ate that one. Oh Levy boy. trips Santana to the ground. And once more. Levy is looking to fall inside the guard of Santana. Or perhaps half guard. Yep, he fell into the guard. Hey, Uncle Shep, I hope everything's all right. Sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Take care of yourself, dude. You don't want to hear shit like that. Santana going for a choke here. Wrapping his arms around the neck and an arm of Santana. Levy. Oh, Santana's out. This Santana's out. Levy chokes out Santana. Woo. Oh, he oh, he fell asleep nice and comfortable, Santana. He's like, just nice and cozy. You see that pose? Levy got the job done. Finally. He'll get a contract. I mean, he he dominated, but then finished. And boy, my boy was sleeping. Nice. That was the most comfortable Ooh. submission I've ever seen. Like, he was just like, I'm just going to take a nap here. Don't mind me. Enjoy your contract. Eyes roll back in his head. Let's watch this again. You can tell he was out for a while. Look at the eyes. He's out here. Watch. Yeah, he's... Right. He's trying to put his hands together to right like, kind of stop it. Right here. He's out. Beauty. Completely out. You got to watch the hands drop. Yep. And there he goes. He gets nice and calm. Yeah, his eyes roll back in his head. Herzog's like, hey, buddy, you there? Hey, pussy. And he puts his hand behind his head. He's like, I'm, I'm just nice. I'm just nice and cozy here. So, all right. Levy gets the win. Israel. Getting the win. Carnage! Hey, 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 hey. Levy, 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 Levy. Embrace the carnage, go on a date with carnage Vote for carnage, make things with carnage Play jokes on carnage, masturbate with carnage Ejaculate the carnage, propose to the carnage Enjoy pancakes with the carnage, celebrate the carnage Whoa Noise, alright, so Santana's okay Santana's like, thanks for the nap, buddy Na Thanks for the nap, that was great Well, uh. he finished him, so He's getting a contract Right? What do you right. say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What'd you guys think? Goes to six and zero now, or is he still too? I mean, he's twenty nine years old. Only six professional fights. You think Dana White's like, well, you could use a little more time. I, I think he's gonna I mean, get a contract. I don't know. I don't think he's gonna get one. No, huh? Yeah. What is more than six fights here? Nope, there's six. The canceled bouts threw me off. Five nine, Mr. Nathan Levy getting the job done going six and oh. The Hawk wins. Mohawks wins. Yeah, I think he's gonna get it. What do you think? Levy baby Cena says, Hell yeah. Yes, says he getting that get that contract. Herzog had a lot of late stoppages recently. I wouldn't trust the guy. You know what? He has been a little bit late. You're right, I do recall. A couple of recent late stoppages. No, I mean, that one, he was right there. I'm surprised he didn't see the eyes roll back in the head, but uh, you know, Santana seems like he's okay. Four for four on picks. <laughs> I'll lose the fifth pick 100% says Alex. Levy via arm triangle. Yeah, Levy looked pretty dominant for the most part. I mean, you know, it was the activity wasn't all there, but he looked very patient too when he was in trouble, you know? Slipped out of some situations and pretty much dominated the fight. So wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Pale got the screaming mosses. Thank you, Pale. 
JBH, I have a lot in common. We're both Izzy fans. You pity Michael Chandler and you what? Suggest Moss to cut that hair. This is P. Dizzle. So Izzy fans and pity Michael Chandler. Why do you pity Michael Chandler? Does that mean hate? What do you mean by pity might you feel bad for him? I'm confused. Do you dislike Michael Chandler? Or? I, I, I need to know. Mario, he's still squirming Yamasaki. Uh, Justin Jr. had Mario on Mr. Yamasaki. Hmm? What? What's Jesse doing? Jesse's doing something here. Hold on. Look how fat I'm getting. Jesse's getting fat. Look at this fat slob that I have next to me. How dare she? How dare she? Oh, my God. She's obese. Morbidly obese. It's hard, Moss. Feel it. Solid. Solid as a rock. Wait, I was zooming in. It means you dislike. So saying you pity. Where are you from, P? Where are you from, bud? If you pity someone, that doesn't that mean you feel bad for someone? Well, over here, that means that. Yeah. But I right? guess where he's from, it means yeah, you dislike. Like, like you feel bad. Yeah. Well, I learned a new word. I was called a, on Twitter, what the hell was the word? It was an Australian. Oh, is Sean Hart in the chat? I got to ask, where's my Aussie friends at? If Mario shows up in the next fight, wait, hold on. In the next fight, would be balling. We'd be balling. Yeah, baby. Let's ball. Oh, this word. I was like, what the hell is this? Mean? I had to actually look it up. Hold on a second. And he hit me with the ones if you are Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. We got some awesome Aussie people in the community. Seriously, we actually have some really cool Aussies. Uh, la, 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 la. I have a headache. Ugh. Let's see. Let me find the word. The term. Solid. Solid as a rock. K -k -k. All right. It was on this. Um, my comment. I got a lot of traction on that Megan Anderson joke. Some people got a little upset. Oh, a dead shit. You ever hear the word <laughs> dead shit? Um, oh no, but I saw that tweet. Yeah. I was yeah. called a dead shit. <laughs> so I, I was like, what the hell is a, a dead shit? This is what I'm saying. Twitter's I, just full of people who are like miserable. Yeah. The guy was like, like, I was called a dead shit on Twitter. So I'm like, what is that? So I looked it up. I'm like a dead shit. What the hell? Who the hell taught it says dead shit. Like I've taken some dead shit. <laughs> I, I've Boss, never taken a dead shit. Yeah. I was, I was called a dead shit. Wonderful. And then Wonderful. I was look I was looking it's an Australian term. Happy Veterans Day to everyone in the community that served and currently serving. Clapping hands. Hell yeah, Roberto. Was it tomorrow, right? Veterans Day? Yeah. Shout out to the fucking veterans. We'll be live on Veterans Day tomorrow. Salute. 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 Our Lizard King, man. I saw, I saw you by the way in uh thank you for yeah, the end. I was N -word. talking to him about um IP2. What was yeah, going come on. on. We're IT, IP2 buddies. This is not IP2. We weren't Blizzard King. They didn't allow us on IP2. They said that the community was too toxic, that we're better off not being there. So they didn't allow they us. They must in. not know our community very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Blizzard King, thank you for the N-word. Appreciate it. But uh, uh, yeah, save that for IP2 network. Mm. Uh, what were we saying? Yeah, so the dead shit. And so he was from Australia. And he, where's my Aussies at? See, this is where we need Sean Hart. I don't know where he is. I've never been called a dead shit. Michael Deadshit Channel. <laughs> man, oh man. Yeah, thank you, Roberto, again. Appreciate that. All right, does anyone know? Uh, IP2 said they don't want podcast Andes. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah. Oh, you're with IP2 too? Yeah, so um, it's funny because they got desktop Andes over there. They got Joe Rogan. I mean, isn't that a fucking podcast? <laughs> the fuck Joe Rogan? They're like, we don't do podcasts over here, but Joe Rogan is an IP2. I'm like, what? How does that doesn't make any sense? Uh, I would do it again, but I am fucked up in the head. Australian here, bro, says Cena. Uh, no oh, Cena's Australian. So what, is th what does that mean, dead shit? Sydney represent. Uh, they don't respect you, bro. I know. No respect. I get no respect. Australian top team, team says T uh, Cena. I hope Chandler does well in the UFC. I don't know if he will, though. Um. Yeah, Chris and JBH. Maybe one day we'll join IP2. Yeah, yeah. we did IRL. 
Yeah, we should do it. Listen, we, we, would, we would take over IP2. That would be, I mean, you wouldn't have to watch people, you know, the N-word being spammed every five fucking seconds. We'd give them content. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move to the main event here. Not everyone knows what the IP2 network is, and that's probably a good thing. As uh, all right, so here it is, Marius. Oh, ah, oh, fuck. How do you say his name again? Show was it? Show Shuit. Where's D Russ when you need him? Sh- was Show Shuit? Show Sh- Shovich? Sh- no, he said D Russ. Help us out, man. Kyovich. Something Vich. Chich. Some, something Vich. Something Chich. Vich. 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 <laughs> what the hell, man? All right, so- Sosa versus that guy, Marius. Show a bitch. Show a bitch. Show. Shaku Shakovich. Shakovich. There it is. Shakovich. Shakovich. All right, Shakovich. <laughs> so Shakovich versus Souza. Yeah. That's the main event. The final fight of the night. Then we find out who gets the contracts. Shakovich. Shakovich. All right, so Shakovich is 8 and 0 and then we have the 11 and 0 Brazilian is the favorite Souza. So, 24 years old too this this uh this Brazilian. So, he's Dude, a AM so. baked is the biggest fucking joke I have ever seen on the internet. Yeah, he's a little gay lord, man. Gay lord. Actually, he's in Arizona too, which is weird, so I got to move now. He's an Arizona guy. Shakovich Shakovich. All right, Shakovich. So who are you picking in this fight? Shakovich or Souza? Shakovich. Shakovich. He's the underdog. You sure? Yeah. Oh, he's Polish? The Iron Pole? <laughs> the Iron Pole versus Nimrod. Is it Nimrod or Nimrod? That's Nimrod, right? Yeah, Nimrod. Nimrod. Is Nimrod like a anime type thing or some shit? That sounds like something. Um, Japanese. <laughs> I don't know cartoons. Nimrod. Oh, one bad's here. Dead shit. Where have you been, one bad? Two trailer park girls go round me outside. Round me outside. Round me outside. You like that? Nimrod. They're saying it's Nimrod, Jess. Nimrod. Then why is it an E at the end? Nimrod. Nimrod would be like a, a dope, right? But why would that be his? <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's the definition of Nimrod? Isn't that like a dope, like a dopey person? Like, hey, Nimrod. Let's see. What does Nimrod mean? According to Miriam Webster, one, a descendant of Ham represented in Genesis as a mighty hunter and a king of Shinar. Okay. Two, not capitalized, hunter. Three, not capitalized, slang. Idiot jerk. <laughs> You're either a hunter or an idiot jerk. So I don't know. This um probably going with the hunter, right? This um <laughs> Shokovich looks like a, a Viking moss. Look at him. Yeah, he does. No, it's not Shokovich. It's Shokovich. He looks like a Viking. He actually looks like um what's it called? He looks like the Home Alone. He looks like Macaulay Culkin with a Viking hairdo. He does not look like Macaulay Culkin. He does. He looks like no, he's Home Alone. No, he does not. If Macaulay Have Culkin. Have you seen Macaulay Culkin now, as an adult? Yeah. He's got like the sunken in eyeballs. And he, like, he looks like death. He doesn't look like a fucking Culkin? No. Are you kidding me? No. He's got that. You know how retards have that gene? No, Culkins no, have the no. same gene. It looks like he's got it. No, 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 no. Not even close. That's because you see beards throw you off. Could you imagine if you saw me Man. without a beard? You'd be like, what in the holy hell? Oh man. A hunter. Either way, you fun a shock a bitch. I know. She must be I don't know what the hell happened there. Every time I say they look like someone, you shut you shut well, it down. Because uh, Shakovich is like like um slightly attractive and McCoy ah, is not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So you don't want to admit <laughs> that this man. Looks like Macaulay Culkin. Because Macaulay Culkin is not attractive. I hate to burst your bubble, Jesse. Macaulay Culkin is not attractive. Okay. Well, here we go. I've how seen him. How you spell him. Macaulay Culkin? Macaulay. I don't know how to spell his name. Just guess. Google will fix it Macaulay for you. Macaulay <laughs> Culkin. There it is. Right there. All right. Hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm going to fuck this you up right now. like him. Yeah. Just like you think no, Jeff Goldblum. No, look at him. He looks fucking retarded. Okay. You ready, guys? 
This, that does not look like him, Mom. Okay, get ready. Get ready. You're so stupid. Watch the people. Watch the people just laugh. <laughs> laugh in your face. Oh, my God. Moss, it's completely different. Viking compared to dweeb. Jesse, if you put it, you, you got to put a goatee on the man. Whoa, why is that so? Why is everything so big on this computer? What the hell? Oh. You know. You know, special face. feels so special. <laughs> why is it so big? I got a special <laughs> face. Not even close. Attention is short. Bust to outer space. Mind in a special place. Perfect timing. GSP abducted me. I'm from an alien race. Yeah. Special, special face. Uncle Pal. With a special, special face. face. Special face. Yeah, baby, yeah. You call your friend a bastard, fuck with or cunt if you are momentarily mad at them, and it puts them on notice you are not amused. But if you call them a dead shit, then the relationship is pretty much oh, over. Okay. It signifies a line has been crossed. Thank Nimrod. You. Thank you, uh, Mom, uh Uncle they Pell. don't even look the same Oh, at my all. goodness, Jesse. You are in denial. You put a beard on this man, it's what? fucking Macaulay Cole. He looks just like him. Moss, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're seeing. Hit me with the ones in the chat. That looks like a scuffed Macaulay Cole. Oh, of course all I'm right, going to hit go. you with ones because I said he was cute. No, you said he was cute after I said it. No, I said he doesn't look like Macaulay Culkin. Because Macaulay Culkin's not cute. The Macaulay bit's cute. over. All right, here we go. Let's watch the lo- Watch the ones. Spam the chat. All right, here we go. Let's let's get back into the game over here. We're in round one of Macaulay Culkin versus Souza. All right, four fifteen as the Col- Macaulay Viking. Look at all those ones, Jesse. Yeah, you know they're gonna drop one. Though. Saying you're blind, it's crazy, man. Because I said he was attractive. No, you said he was attractive after I said and he I looked said, like Macaulay. I Culkin. said Macaulay Culkin is not attractive. Like Jesus, you are really into this dude. A left by Macaulay Culkin, then going for the takedown as he shoves the body. Into Souza. Souza trying to fight off the fence. Hold on, Jesse. Let me fix this for you. Let me help you out. So, you, hold on a second. Special face. That is quite the song. Uh, where is it? Boo. It's gone. Cole can still working against the cage. 330 is Shakovich gets the takedown. Nice takedown. Side control on Souza. <laughs> Vegan Viking. Milk Cucky Cook Cuckman. So side control. Colkin's got it. He's home alone inside the middle of the octagon as Souza is trying to tie him up. Let's see if the Viking Colkin can get the job done here as he hits him left to the side of the face of Souza. Souza now locking the arms tight on Colkin. Shakovic still on side control. I can't find the uh, picture. You're lucky. Where'd it go? Boo, man. Ruined my own bit. I lost in New York. I got we lost in New York. We should watch Home Alone. I haven't seen Home that movie Alone. in so long. Jesse watched the greatest Christmas movie of all time, Gremlins, the other day. What'd you think of it? It was wonderful, wonderful. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. Macaulay Culkin trying to tie up the right arm. And oh, Souza slips out of it. Damn, Souza getting out of it here. And Macaulay in trouble. Oh, Macaulay eating some rights from the top. Looks like that opened up his eyebrow. Let's see. Viking Culkin is trying to stay calm here. As Souza has flipped the script and he's inside his guard. A right slipping down from Souza. So being tied up from the bottom. Viking Culkin, oh, eating an elbow. So is a hammer fist. Going for the arm bar. Nope. Almost there, Nicole. Keep this change, you filthy animals. Left, right, slips in by Souza from the top. We got 140 left in the first round. Souza Culkin. Die Hard's the best uh, Christmas movie. Yeah, that's a good one. It is a good one. But Gremlins to me is the best. Gremlins is the most underrated Christmas movie. I do not understand. Go. Oh, he almost got it. Elbow to the rib cage, Souza, or more to the abdomen. Shakovic is going for the armbar now, and Souza slips right out of it. Oh, elbow. That was an illegal elbow by Souza. And then just 
powers Shakovic. Shakovic trying to drive through, and then Sosa goes for the guillotine. He's Sosa out. trying to out. lock up the guillotine here oh, as man. Macaulay Culkin is trying to slip out, and then if he does, he can get a mount here. Let's see. Sosa is really putting pressure on the back of the head. But Shakovic is staying very patient. Ernest saves Christmas. Yeah, Gremlins 2, I didn't make Jesse watch. I'm, I'm on the fence. Should I make her watch it? I made her watch the first one. first one's great. What a movie. And he does slip out of it. So now Shakovic is on top. Trying to pass the leg over. And he can't do it. Sosa pulls him into guard. And then Sosa dropping elbows from the bottom. Damn. Top of the head. Coming in. It's a close first round. Sosa trying to get the legs up. And now he's hammer fisting from the bottom. Man, his head's taking a beat. Oh, up. my God. Elbow from the bottom by Sosa. Another elbow from the bottom by Sosa. Oh, my goodness. I think Sosa won off his back there in that room. Damn. He warned him about the 12 to 6s. Whoo, man. Okay, so that round's over. Who do you give the first to? Obviously, Sosa. You give it to Sosa. What do you guys say in the chat? <laughs> they look nothing alike. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, my favorite Christmas movie is The Christmas Story. Yeah, that's a good movie. Naughty Naughty says Obi-Wan. Christopher Lee was in that film, so I'd say give it a try, Moss. Awful Chris, awful. Um, Heavy Micro says it's wonderful, wonderful. Uncle Champ, I remember watching those Ernest movies. He was a funny character comedian in the movie. Christmas ones are good, period. Uncle Chrome says Elf and Scrooge. Is he talks about. Oh, Scrooge is great. Oh, I got the wrong round. I'm sorry, guys. That was the first round. I apologize. We're going into the second. You ever see Scrooge? Is that the animated one? No, that's with Bill Murray. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. That movie I like. I've seen, like, all of those. My parents used to play them all the time. But Gremlins, to me, is the best, man. Best holiday movie of all time. It really is. It still holds up. Oh, oh nice combination by Sosa. Oh, boy, here we go. They're swinging. Sosa's trying to go for the kill here. Knee to the body. Back's culking up. Oh, the right by Sosa. Sosa again. Right, left. Sosa going against the fence. Shakovich, though, swinging off. So there we go. He separates him. Sosa trying not to blow his load here. And now Shakovich is coming forward. They'd save the best for last between these two. Nice knee by Sosa, but grabs it. Shakovich pushed into the fence. Sosa's got to be careful, man. Yeah, those are like 12 to 6 that he's throwing. No, nah, they're, they were on the side of the head. That was straight up. They, no, I hit this side. You can see the redness on the side of his head. Those were legal. No, 12 to 6 is the angle of the elbow moss. No, straight down. That's 12 yeah. to 6. Exactly. No, six. Yeah, 12 to six. Yes. Yes. That was a different time. You were worried about a different time. Oh, Shakovich lifts him up and takes him down. Sosa gets taken down here with 353 left in the second round. Whoo, man. So Shakovich has a chance to get things done here. Hit the like button, people. 159. As we're reacting to Season 4, Episode 9, this is the main event. National Lampoon's is probably my favorite Christmas movie, Uncle Champ. I love that one. It's a good movie. I, I watch it every single year. It is It is a good movie. I, I'll give you that. That is a good movie. But that's it's typical. Typical. Gremlins is better. It's classic. Gremlins is better, Jess. I hate to break it to you. National Lampoon's. Oof. Hammer fist from the bottom by Sosa, and Sosa gets the legs up high again. A Christmas story is a good one. Sosa trying to squirm his arms out, but Shakovich is still in control on the ground. Hits him with a knee to the hip area, and there's another knee by Shakovich. It looks like Sosa's trying to block that with his hand because that's not feeling good. And yeah, Shakovich is just working that hip, hitting him with some knees there. That cannot feel nice. Let's see what the Viking can do here. Get some carnage of his own. More knees coming in. They're tangled up on the mat. Sosa's trying to squirm out of this position, but Shakovich has control still. Mm. 
They're still tangled on the mat here. Let's see. Is he going for a guillotine, Shakovich? Looking for the neck. Looking for the neck. Oh, that was a stupid move because Sosa just drives through it. Oh, let's see if Shakovich can get out of this. They're side by side right now. They're embracing on the mat. Let's battle for position and Shakovich too strong. Beauty. So I thought he was going to make a mistake there, but too powerful. It looks like Sosa's getting tired. That's what it looks like to me. As he let a lot go in the beginning of the round, and you can tell he backed up and Shakovich realized and took advantage of it. Is it Shakovich? Am I saying it right? I'm probably saying so. it wrong. Man, oh man. Sosa sc scooting the hips out. See if he can escape. Shakovich is trying to hold him there, but Sosa pulls him into guard. Instead, Sosa decides to let's keep him inside. My guard is an elbow to the rib section by Shakovich. Now Sosa trying to get the legs up high. And then here we go. The hammer fist from the bottom. Whoa, whoa. He's got to watch knee. that foot. That, that wasn't a, no, the, it was a foot to the face. It was a, yeah, but his knee is on the mat. Yeah, you can't do that. Sosa cannot do that. Got worn there. Yeah, that was a no, no. No, no, no. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I, I like Nightmare Before Christmas. My yeah, problem is the singing is just, it's just, it's overwhelming. Moss, that's the whole point of the they movie. They need to slow down with all Tim that singing. Tim Burton. I love Tim Burton. He's great. He does musicals. Yeah, well, listen. listen that, 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 I mean, come on. No, he doesn't. Batman. Edward Scissorhands. Sweeney Todd. Sweeney. That's just, that's just one other musical. You argue with everything. I don't like musicals. I don't like them. Although Nightmare on Christmas, if, if there was no fucking singing, it would be good. Every time you try to get into the story, they start singing. Beetlejuice is good. I'll give you that. Although it needs more Beetlejuice. That's why I wish they did the sequel. There wasn't enough Beetlejuice in Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice wasn't Christmas, though. No, it wasn't, Jess. That's correct. Yeah, I don't know how we went into Beetlejuice. <laughs> now it's the Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> They're like abandoned ship. Let's talk about just movies in general. So, Shakovich does win this round here, in my humble opinion. I think we got a split fight. What do you think? Yeah, I have to agree with you. Okay. What about Over the Top? That was like an awesome Christmas movie, right? You ever see Over the Top? No. <clears throat> oh, how did you miss Over the Top? Uh, hate musicals, American Pro Pie, Cosby show reruns during the holidays is wonderful, wonderful. Just watched Guns Akimbo the other day. That was weird. Sandlot, arm wrestling Stallone. Yeah. Large Marge gave me nightmares. LOL Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Sylvester Stallone. Bill. Moss <laughs> cried in Jack Frost. You and know, I've Michael never Pee seen Pee Jack Frost. Oh, such a good movie. I've never seen it. I watched that all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, I like Michael Keaton too, right? It was Michael. It was Keaton? a really good movie, actually. It? It's made for kids, though. Like, yeah, fuck that. You might get, <laughs> yeah, you might get like weirded out by it. Cause See, it's, my movie made for kids is Gremlins because at least it's 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 messed up. It's, it's about incredibly a, messed up. A father up. who dies and then comes back to life as a snowman. Spoiler alert, Jesse. No, that's the synopsis of the oh. movie. Thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Round three, split fight. It's any man's game here. As we have a grinding battle between the two, they collide. Beauty uppercut by Macaulay Culkin. And then a hook by Macaulay Culkin. A chopping kick to the chest by Souza. A knee by Souza. An elbow by Souza. But Shakovich pushes to the fence. Shoulder to the midsection. Shakovich looking to take him down. Lifts. Souza trying to fight and dump down. Shakovich with the takedown in the third round. Big one. Ugh. There's Macaulay. And there's Souza on the other side. Okay, let's see how this thing winds up with four minutes and 15 seconds left in the fight. Contender Series, main event. Who's going to win? Would have made the film even more frightening. Gary Goodrich, Goodrich was an original over-the-top contestant, just saying. 87 good years. Best of the best. He might get this win, Jess. Marius, the Canadian, with another takedown here at the end. And so is it in trouble. My question to you, though, is this Shakovich, Shakovich fella, if he gets the win without the finish, does he get a contract, Jess? Um, I'm going to say yes. 
Yeah, what is the the? Because Dana White's a big Home Alone fan. This is middle weight. I mean, they're they're kind of stuck on the ground here. Shocker just can't belt? loosen up. Yeah, it looks like it's a middleweight bout. Yeah. Shakovich. Yeah, still on the ground inside the guard of Souza. Shakovich hits him with the right. And then a left from yeah, Shakovich. Yeah, they would probably give him a contract because they need more like fresh middleweights. All the middleweights have been, are kind of like... Stand him up. Used up. The ref had enough. He's like, you guys are boring the fook out of me. Stand him up. Good stand up. And here we go. Shakovich. Lands a couple of shots and pushes him to defense. Both fighters are looking very, very tired. Oh, my God. They're exhausted, these guys. Looks like Shakovich is going to try to drag him to the ground again. Why not? You're exhausted. Pull the legs out. Let's go. He's going for the double. Lifts up and takes him down. All right. There we go. Sosa back to the mat. And that's it. What else do you want to talk about? Yeah, Shakovich is just kind of holding him down there. And so is getting the legs up high. But Shakovich is trying to settle inside the guard, and that's where he lays. They're dick to dick right now. And we're kind of stuck here. The ref, he's holding on to the face of Sosa, like covering the mouth hole. The ref's probably going to stand these guys up if it stays like this another 10 seconds. They just they're tired. Both guys are they're they're exhausted. Hammer fist from the bottom by Sosa. Shakovich eating him. Shakovich hits him to the body. Oh, the up kick by Souza. Tags him. And now he's going for an arm bar, but Shakovich slips out of it. Shakovich pushing on, pushing on him. And Souza's trying to attack the arm some more. Hits him with a, a right. I tell you what, Souza's a little. He's more active from the ground. There's a nice elbow by Shakovich. And now oh, ends alone to save the day. Oh, my God. The Uncle Champ sounds the alarm! Anzalone! Anzalone! Michael! Anzalone! Anzalone! Michael Anzalone! Watch out, here he comes with the wrench friend, heart and soul of the holes, Mrs. Dilly girlfriend, time out trolls, welcome to the dead end, cock so big that you can't even comprehend, bust and groan, making bitches moan, on the timestamp throw, on the chat room stone, hold up! Save the show for the tales will be told about Michael and Zalone. We'll tell you about what's going on in a second, but Uncle Champ. Thank you for the stream, JBH and Moss. Why, thank you. Thanks for being here, man. So while that was going down, Shakovich was attacking the foot of Souza. Nothing happened there. He's just cranking on that thing, trying to twist the foot off the leg. And Souza's just chilling. This is just a stalemate on the ground. And oof, they're scissoring now. Souza now is trying to creep up and now hits Shakovich with some hammer fists. Holy shit. 15 seconds left and Souza unloading. Souza with some more hammer fists. Shakovich getting the shit kicked out of him. Where the hell did this come from? Eight seconds left. Now Shakovich drives and throws Souza, Souza on his back. Shakovich is exhausted. Souza exhausted. They're huffing and puffing. And this thing's going to... Oh my God. The way this thing ended. They just sat down and was like, <gasps> just completely gassed. Sosa's going one second. He's just trying to catch his breath. He's hyperventilating on the floor. Oh, my God. Both of these guys are sitting down next to each other, just exhausted. I mean, you're not going to get a contract by, by just being completely exhausted. I mean, that, that shows you that they put in all of their effort on this fight. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much, Uncle Champ, Pale Monkey, Roberto, uh, Start the Fantasy, whoever else donated. Thank you so freaking much, guys. Um, You know what? I say Shakovich won. I tell you what, Devish, I'm going to go Sosa. I think Sosa won one in three. I think Sosa was active enough off of his back. He got up and started beating the fuck out of Shakovich. I'm going to say Sosa. It's a close fight. Could go either way. You're going to say Shakovich? Yeah. All right. What do you think in the chat? Who won? <laughs> McCall. <laughs> He's still there. Hold on. Let's do this right here. There we go. All right. Who won the fight? Home Alone or Souza? Devesh says, let's go Souza. Jason says, Brendan Sean won. 
Uncle Champ's the shock a bitch one. McCulkin took a beating. I think the holes are wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Either way, close fight. Kokovich, Shab, Walmart, McCulloch, Culkin. Uh, Moss, which fighter would you pay $500,000 to beat Khabib and GSP? <coughs> what would I what? Beat? Which fighter would you pay $500,000 to beat Khabib and GSP? I don't know. Here we go. Let's get 30, 27, 20, 29, 28, 29, 28. Unanimous. So has it got the win? Unanimous. Yeah, I think they got that right. But unanimous is a little shocking. They're they're shocked, the announcers. But um, listen, I think they got it right. I mean, from what I've By seen unanimous? there. Unanimous. Unanimous. I mean, all judges seen the same. Well, all judges agree with me. So I mean, I I mean, oh wait, thirty twenty seven is a little fucking weird. Wait, it was one thirty twenty seven. I think so. That was wrong. Yeah, thirty twenty seven is wrong. Not sure what the fuck the judge saw in that second round. Yeah, thirty twenty seven is completely wrong. Wow. All right, so Dana, Dana White's White, got some decisions to make. He doesn't look very happy. Well, that that fight was ass. Yeah, he he's definitely uh, that fight took a lot out of him. <laughs> that thirty twenty seven was out there. Yeah, I mean it's a close fight, you know. And that second round, there's no way Sosa won that second round, in my opinion. Fucking hey. All right, so let's take Colkin off here. Jesus. Unfortunately, he does not get the win, and he gets his first blemish. How old is he? He's 31. Oh, man. Okay. He'll get another shot in the Contender Series, though. I have a feeling. Although, um, you, you get tired in front of the boss like that. I know you leave it all out there, but that was just kind of sloppy, you know? So, you got Sabatello gets a unanimous decision. I don't think he gets a contract, to be honest with you. This young lady, Launa Pinero, gets the knockout. You're going to get a contract. Yeah. Uh, also, Moda. I feel Moda is going to get a contract as well. I don't. I don't know so. why. It was a tough fight. It was a good scrap between the two. It was a good fight. I think Moda gets one. Um, I think Levy gets one. Gets the arm triangle choke. And I think they don't get a contract here. I'm going to say one. Two, I'm going to say three contracts. Jared. I see two. Who's getting them? Panero and Levy. Panero and Levy. So the finishes. Yeah. And everyone else could kick rocks. Okay, I'm going three. Jesse's got two. And what do you say in the chat? I think Moda definitely gets. Moda's got heavy hands. Colkin should go back to doing his bunny ears podcast. Uh, Moda and the chick fire boobies home alone. Home alone. Uh, two, four contracts, three contracts. UFC needs all of them. Uh, but remember how many people they signed in the first half of the contender series? They signed a lot of people. But they do need fighters. That is true. It's something to take. Kick dicks into consideration. Two contracts. Steph Fausto. Is the only contact for me. I'm with Moss. Three. Carnage. Embrace the Carnage, bro. That's right, bro. To be honest, Kevin Lee can beat Khabib. All you have to do is not go near the cage at all. Don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kevin four, Lee for the win, of course. Four contract coming up. Culkin just got five years worth of CTE in one fight. Dana should give the cameraman a contract for not falling asleep. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Imagine. Hey, Joe. Wait, there's no Joe there for it. No, Joe behind the camera over there. Come on over, buddy. You got a contract. <laughs> Three is the magic number. LOL. Gotti still in the... Facts. Steve O deserves a contract. Cameraman's de uh, getting paid a lot of money, so he's definitely going to be awake. Undefeated. Whoa, what the fuck happened to your head? I don't know, man. Like, it was weird. I woke up like this. It was really bizarre. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, I'm like... All right, that's still there. Not sure what happened here. <laughs> I don't know. It's a mystery. Gaylord Moss had an accident at the barbershop. Uh, Christopher, when are you going to hire your first employee? Uh, you have employees. Yeah, one bed. You're not working. You want to? You need a job. You want to hire one bed? We need someone to fetch us coffee. <laughs> you can be our coffee boy. Yeah, we do. Seriously, we pay. We pay handsomely over here on the MMA holes. <laughs> 
Uh, Gotti lost his last fight, Marky. I mean, how big are Laura's jug jugs? Uh, she's uh, she's all right, I think. If it were, if it was by day, it may holds by night. If it was that kind of, can you do uh? What's um, his face? Alex Jones. No. All right. I can't do it. I, I gotta. I'm gonna work on Alex Jones. When the stream is over, I'm gonna work on it, Jesse. Fight was okay. Had some moments. Can I be the water boy? Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. So we're waiting to see who gets contracts here. And thank you to everyone that joined us on the MMA Holes Tuesday night stream. A bonus stream tonight. I love bonus streams. I love it. You do. It's getting cold, Moss. Cold. You feel it? I can feel it coming through the windows. Mm. Uh, yeah, Canadian MMA hole correspondent. That'd be awesome. Like no joke. When when fights get going again and they start opening up to the public, we're gonna oh. need some help. That'd be awesome. We we, uh, we asked Pulse to do it. Remember in, in Texas? Did he, we ask? Pulse he, yeah, he dropped the ball. We said, dude, dude just take your I phone. I remember the idea was there, but I don't think we asked. Yep, him I asked him. I said, all I need you to do is take your phone out. You don't have to live stream or anything. Just record. He shit the bed? Just record going out there and just fucking around. People will send you a shirt, the whole deal. You know, whatever. You know, we'll give you airplay, shout out, whatever the hell you want. Right? That's what we said. And he didn't do it. Mm. That'd be great. When when events get going again, have him me hold storm the crowd. Asking polls. We did. I we remember did. bringing it up, but. We did. We asked him. And I can't remember his reasoning why he didn't do it. Well, I mean. I'm sure he had the wheelchair. Some sort of valuable <laughs> excuse. His wheelchair was in the shop. <laughs> oh, Pulse. Yeah. He was getting a wheel alignment. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning was. But Pulse, if you're in there. He didn't have enough battery in his hover rod. <laughs> yeah. I don't oh know what my happened. God. You we'll get, we get RX in, in Ohio, right? You can count on the Great White North, Christopher. Imagine Justin Jr. Could you imagine Justin Jr. running around? Imagine that kid running around with a microphone? No. You hate Why do you hate Justin Why do you hate that kid Why are you, I never said I hated him Why do you hate Justin Let's get Let's let's talk about the elephant In the room right now There's no elephant You just said that Man Just cause you say it Doesn't make it true I, I see these things You literally just said Uncle, that Alright alright all right, Stop so You get mad at everything I'm not mad right, Let's see Where's uh Where's Uncle Champ live Uncle Champ so over. fucking sensitive Okay Oh Where? god I think Uncle Champ Is in California Alright so Uncle Champ Could be the correspondent In, how, uh, in California uh, Alex Lovell, where is Alex L Lovell? Where does he live? Um, or have you micro grow? I don't know. All right, so we're waiting on the decisions. The UFC has a lot of decisions to make here, as they're not as clear cut as last Tuesday. They're showing this kid over here, Danny Sabatello, who's got to be nervous. He dominated, but it was a decision and it was quite boring. Bantamweight fighter. Shit. Jesse, you sound nervous, man. You nervous for this kid? What? You sound really nervous. No. You worried if he's going to get a contract or not? No. Okay. What about Macaulay Culkin? They're showing he's Macaulay Culkin's highlights. That guy's not getting a contract. Well, he lost, so he's not going to get one. Uh, just so as to get it. I mean, he fell asleep in the middle of the cage. I don't know. Chrome says one contract. I'm saying three. I'm still going to stick to my three. Fook the diet. I'm eating. LOL. One day. <laughs> Wait, you abandoned the diet in one day? I've done that before. Who did? Frumptious. How many people are on a diet, right? How do you like, how do you motiv motivate yourself when you're in a pandemic, right? And you're like, okay, I'm, I need to diet. I need to lose a couple of pounds. How do you find that motivation to hit a clean diet. Well, let me know after we get these results and let's see what Dana White says here. He likes a lot of these kids, Dana says. Okay. Okay, he's talking about this kid here. Dominant performance. He didn't take any chances today. Made him look one-dimensional. I believe he's talented. 
he's going to have to do some more. He is not in the UFC. Sorry. Sorry, Bantamweight. Now, this girl over here, I want to fuck. Oh, Dana, come on, man. This is, you're the boss. You can't say shit like that. He didn't get to see her judo. Yeah, she cracked. She beat the shit out of her opponent. She's in the UFC. Very simple. Okay, now we're going to get to a one here that some say yes, some say no. Moda. All right, so he's saying this would have been fight of the night if this is a regular UFC night. Dog fight. Uh-huh. Can you give me a dog impersonation, Jess? Woof, woof. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, so the backing off of what we were talking about. Wow. The matchmaker saying they thought he didn't want to do any more damage to him. That's bullshit. He was tired. Hmm. Oh, man. He doesn't know what he's going to do. 20 days notice for. He's trying to find a reason to sign him. He's giving him a shot. Oh, this kid's excited. Looks like he's going to cry. He's pounding his chest. Wow. Like, he literally made the decision right in front of Laura Sanko. That was like American Idol shit there, Jesse. Oh, my God. The intensity. All right. Levy. He got the Hollywood agents going crazy right now. Israel. Yeah, they wanted an Israeli. They're going to sign this kid. Oh, he got five days notice for this fight? Well, there you have it. Oh, this guy's getting in. Holy cow. Five days notice. Not even, it's a no-brainer. So three contracts, last fight. He's young. He's got a lot going on for him. Got a weird-shaped head. Oh, he says, I didn't think he won I that agree, fight. I man. Well, Dana, you're wrong. Is it good for him? <laughs> All right. Yeah, was he 24? Yeah, then I could give him a contract. Oh, his kid looks like he's going to cry, man. Yeah, man. He, you can see uh, him pu- like huffing. Oh, he's crying. He's crying, Jesse, the poor kid. 24 years old, does not get the contract. That's sad, man. I think he won. Don't listen to Dana White, you alien-looking son of a bitch. Don't, don't listen to him. Wait. What happened? What happened, Jess? What, did, I don't know. what are we waiting He's, for? I thought he was... Um, never mind. Okay. So, three contracts. Mystical. With the win here. Um, I think they got, you know... Where's the fucking mute? Oh, there is. I think, um, I think they did it right. Yeah, and with this kid 24 years old, he'll get another shot in the Contender Series. And honestly, I think they're going to give him Macaulay Culkin another shot. I really do. I think you'll see him back. What else over here? Maybe you'll see Sabatello back. How old is he? He looked really sad, but he kind of shit the bed a little bit. I mean, he won, but the only thing that you could say is controversial is Moda. He had a chance to finish that fight in I the second round. I don't think White was going to give him that contract. I think he made that as like a, a decision like right then and there. But he did, yeah. That's what he said. But Moda had a chance to finish his fight in the second round. He had him hurt. And Dana White said the matchmakers... We're saying that he just didn't want to hurt this guy anymore because his face was all fucked up. Maybe. I didn't get that vibe. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if that's the case, that'd be the first time it's ever happened. Like a compassionate... Like usually fighters go in there and they just want to rip their opponent's face off. Mm. You, I, think I think he was, he was tired. tired. Yeah, I think that's the thing. He didn't want to punch himself out. That's what I'm going to go with. But it does get the contract, Moda. So three, congratulations. The one that really stands out is this chick here. I don't know if she fought a can or what, but she she just mutilated Stephanie uh, Frausto. So congratulations. Three contact contracts, excuse me, with some contact. Let's see what the chat says, and we'll get the fook out of here. And Ann says, who's this kid? Alex Lovell says, or Alex Lovell, Maryland says, Uncle Champ. D. Moulin says, three heavy microgrow. No moto was grossed out like me. Why fook up his face for a tryout? Uh, rip his ear off says Jacob Matt Stone Uncle Champ getting colder Voluntara says Liddell versus Ortiz 3 Trent says not a can a fire hydrant she's a six and a half says Uncle Savage Kevin from Chicago Danny Sabatello 
dominated 30-24, how no contract. Because he trained with you. <laughs> He's their bias. They're like, oh, uh, this guy this guy trained with Kevin. Uh, this guy's shit. not getting the contract. He's always oh, from Chicago. Forget it. Oh, man. <laughs> Forget it. Okay. I don't um, know. Okay. We're done? <laughs> Stretching. You know, all right. Listen, we're out of here. We'll be back tomorrow. Wednesday night, we'll give you the news. We'll talk more about the whole situation. Poor, Poirier and Connor was locked in for January. Now we're hearing that it's not. We don't know what's going on. We Hopefully, we'll have some more answers about that. Also, Fight Week, RDA, Felder, a lot of things to talk about. Uh, let's get some answers. Let's get to the bottom of things here on Not The MMA Holes. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and The MMA Holes. Hit the notification bell. Oh, and Jesse, what do we got here? Uh, don't be an A-hole. Be an MMA hole. Yeah! I got to make one request. Now, I noticed Matt Stone, a sexy, swole MMA hole, like one of the best. He's be, he's here every stream. I'm sure he hits that like button, but I have a criticism, and I'm going to need some help here, Matt Stone. Okay. See this? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my OCD, but hold on. Let me just show you something real quick here, and we just I just need a quick fix, and then we're going to, you know, we'll go back to business here, but look at this, Jesse. He always puts MMA hole, right, with the winking emoji, and I think that's very clever. But my criticism is this. I, I need the wink where the O is. So MMA, H, wink, O. That doesn't make any sense. Because the wink is no. is the O. So I feel like, no, okay. I feel like it, it just aesthetically, I need the wink to be the O since it's round, but you know? Then it wouldn't make any sense because I always wink on the A. Yeah, but I just needed to... You don't understand? It's like that my OCD is kicking in. But it should be MMA, H, wink, L-E. It would be aesthetically that would pleasing. That so stupid. And I just need... Guys, let's take a vote, please. I mean... I, Moss, that would not make any sense. It, it would mean a lot to me. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. That's really dumb. Because well, I wink on the A. It's not all about you, Jesse. No, that's why he's doing it. The wink is on the A. I understand. Uh, what? You're really taking this seriously. I, I, mean, I don't care. I'm just saying it's pretty freaking dumb. It means a lot to me. And look, they're saying it means, I mean, uh, if that was where the O is, it would just look. See, Uncle Marker did it. It looks weird. Wonderful, wonderful. Moss. That looks fucking weird. Oh, God. You're very hurtful. No, I'm not. <laughs>